Yo, what's good, boys? What's good with the guys today, man? How you guys doing today? Sorry for the delay, guys. I had to take care of some things. Sorry for the delay, but what's up, boys? Let's chat. We got a million things to talk about today, and I kind of want to just talk about all of them while it's on my mind, right? Um, but yeah, man, I hope, is, I hope everyone is doing well. Everybody is chilling and taking care of themselves today. What is today, Thursday? Dude, my sleep schedule is destroyed, man. Days feel so short. Night feels long. My sleep schedule is tarnished, man. Tarnished. But let's get some gaming going on, guys. We might actually watch the Worlds as well. Because if you did not know, um, we can actually restream it for the first time ever this year. So, yeah, that's huge. Let's switch on over. Let me uh, go ahead and switch on over. But yeah, if you guys did not know, we can actually watch Worlds and restream it for the first time ever, which is literally insane. Like, the <coughs> no, a fixed sleep schedule is definitely a huge flex. Mine is destroyed, man. Like, I've been in this place for about two and a half weeks now, man, going to three weeks, man. And dude, like, my sleep schedule is very bad. The worst it's ever been, dude. The worst it's ever been. Every time I move, my sleep schedule is always destroyed, man. I got to fix it. So my sister, my sister is going to be helping me out a lot. And I'm going to be doing the most to fix it, man. Because holy shit, dude. What's good? I'm going to chat though. DT was good, bro. Baku was good, man. Card was good, bro. I want Tereki to have a shield on its face. That would go hard. That would go hard. That would go hard. That would go hard like shit, man. But, um... We're uniting today. We're uniting today, because why not, right? We're going to go ahead and unite today, see how this game goes, see how everything turns out. I'm excited to be playing this. It should be a... Uh... Says no one ever. Oh, I'm on the wrong account. No way. Hopefully winner is POV today. I got E1 Branya instead of Kafka. I wish I could relate. Had to spend 30 to get Kafka. So, stupid. Stupid as shit. Stupid as shit. But guys, next month we're I'm gonna okay. So let's let's talk updates. So okay, first things first, you saw a stream VOD was left up. I'm gonna start leaving my stream VODs up. Right? I'm gonna start leaving my stream VODs up. See how that goes. Um, which that should be exciting, right? We're gonna start leaving these stream VODs up. So that should be exciting, right? That's gonna be content, and we should get more uploads on the channel, right? One. Um, two, I'm gonna start looking for Wi-Fi battles in the Discord chat. We've talked about this many times, but I'm gonna start looking for Wi-Fi battles in the Discord chat. So if you're in our Discord server, the Pokemon channel that we have for the Discord server, the Pokemon competitive channel, sometimes I'm just gonna ping in there and be like, all right, looking for OU, looking for UU, you know what I mean? Um, how many steps do I have? A lot of steps. Um, step three? How do you get the... I should have read that. Why don't I read that? I should have read that. I want to get the Unite shirt. Why don't I read? Spectate? Oh, uh, whatever. Um, next month, guys, we're going to attempt a subathon. I just need to find out what. Probably like an Ironmon. We'll probably end up doing Ironmon for the subathon, but... Yeah, it might be, it might be, I might go mentally insane. I might go mental. TTV lost? No! I'm rooting for them. Say it isn't so, dude. Say it isn't so, man. Say it isn't so, man. Yo, Dill, thank you for the nine months, brother. Real raging bolt hating here only. Real and true. Real and true. I still gotta make a specific video. I don't know what this. Okay, these are just. I don't. Okay, I don't understand. I don't fully comprehend or understand that. Anyways, um, Team YouTube will win. Cope. Hey, let's hope, right? Let's hope. Team YouTube, yeah. So that's what you missed, right? Glasgow with Terra thoughts. Insane. Terminal facade. Terra normal facade and that thing is going to be dumb as hell. Terra fly acrobatics is going to be dumb as hell on that mon. It's going to be insane. 
It's going to be insane. Insane. Even Terra Water on that Mon for like a bulky uh, poison healing Pokemon, that thing's going to be dumb as shit. I'm excited. What sucks though is we're not going to get Raging Bolt Iron Crown up until like next. Dude, I lose a lot. Look, loss, loss, loss. Win, loss, 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 loss. I genuinely lose games I shouldn't uh, lose. I'm glad. Let me show you this. I played this game with Nick yesterday. How did we lose? We, this is a perfect... Look at this. This is a perfect game that we lost to trolls, man. 38k slow, bro. 23k. Nick gapped this Mewtwo, man. It just sucks, man. I just lose winnable games. Yo, Mustang, thank you for the nine months, bro. Hot dog. Thanks for the glizzy. Lick. Gang gang. Gang gang. Ooh, back shot so good. What? Bro said, feel free to disrobe. No way. That's a real message, man. Yo, thank you for the nine months, King. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, we're going to be doing everything next month. We're going to have the DLC stream, the subathon. Dude, next month's going to be hell, man. So lock in, guys. Lock in. When I go to bed, because my bed's like right here. Like, I, I can't physically touch it, but I have to move a few inches. It's right here in the corner of my room here. Um, I'm going to meet my bike and play videos on stream. So I'm going to have to build a playlist. I'm going to have to build a playlist of videos and shit. But I don't want to get in trouble. I feel like, dude, because like you guys have been seeing this reaction drama where if YouTubers slash streamers react to people, they get in trouble, which I my personal stance on it is I'm like reaction content does really good and viewers unironically like watching reaction content. So I feel like people on Twitter are just being stupid and lying. Like it's like, yeah, there's a small minority that don't like reaction content and have their moral ethics in it. But it's like. Do you not see the views on reaction videos? Like everybody watches them, or not everybody. A lot of people watch them. A lot of people like watching them. So it's 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 weird. I I probably should play my own videos to be safe, right? Yeah, yeah. Boo boo bear gaming. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I did pull for Kafka. I made a video about it. Um, I was humbled. I was humbled. My luck was terrible. I was humbled. I can't wait till summer's over. There's a fly that's in my room. Because I have a window AC. So. These are going to be on public Vodna? Yeah. Yeah, so shame will be brought to everybody. Shame will be, yeah. Shame will be. Ready? Go! I don't miss winter. I miss fall. I'm tired of summer. Here's the thing, though, is I say this and then winter comes in and then I miss summer. I like when it's warm. I just hate insects. Most people are afraid of insects. I just think they're annoying. Like, they're just annoying, man. But yeah, the game plan, guys, is we're going to start leaving some VODs up. I talked to a few streamers and to be transparent, I have to start making money moves, right? I gotta just be transparent with you guys. I gotta start. I feel like as a content creator, sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I want to do this, but then it's like, dude, fuck all of that. You know what I mean? Like, content creators should be doing things to make money. You know what I mean? F all that. Yo, Ari, right, thank you for the super chat, bro. Appreciate you, man. What is your favorite thing to disrobe your pants? Question mark. What? Bro, where's shame? Reaction video get 2 million views at one of your clips. I got a lot of people like your content, but you don't go over the sun to check. Wait, did that are you, wait, did that actually happen? Or are you just talking about like in a hypothetical? We are in bag season, yes sir, bro. Okay. Hello? I'm mega here. Come on! Come on! Who's it? It's on me. It's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. That's actually my fault. Because I went I went down bot to lane with the score bunny sabble. That's on me. That's my fault. Hypothetical? Okay. Um uh, I'm glad My take is very skewed because my take comes from a perspective of a content creator. 
but like I guess a just a different one. If there's a viral clip of me that has two million views, I would be happy about that. Regardless, if they don't, it's it's publicity. Anything publicity, you know what I mean? That's just me. I'm next. What do you mean? And I beat another one of my idols. I'm next. What the fuck you mean, bro? Yo, Gabe for the forty months. Coochie, 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 meow, 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 meow. Coochie, 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 meow, meow. Nah, man. What happened to Shane, bro? Hey, this guy's breaking my ankles. Yo! Hey! Wait, it snapped over the wall. I can't get him. I, I lose that. No way Gabe typed that, bro. Shame is just lost. I don't know. Is it worth farming there? Creamed latte. Is it worth farming here? You didn't even hit seven. And the talent flame just gets a dunk. Is that worth farming there? I feel like it's not the play. Gurmy, you're losing mods. How do you take mod off somebody? Remove the standard moderator. Gurmy, you lost your mod privileges. I'm sorry. Is it even worth it? I don't even understand. Yeah, what you mean, bro, what? There are simple rules to follow, nigga. You ain't following them. I look over and I see spam, and I'm about to literally unconsciously nuke this nigga. I see spam, and I'm about to nuke. Turns out it's Grimmy. Okay. Who is this? Who is this Talonflame? I can't even play the game. And I'm on Mewtwo. I look over and I'm about to eviscerate this person. Pull, pull, pull. If that bundle touches me, I blame my Cinderace. Thank God. I was gonna say, if that bundle touches me, I blame my Cinderace. 100%. No! Promote likes and not spam! Bro, there's, there's an insect that's in my room and it just keeps flying. And it's a really small one. It's annoying me. Uh, losable? This is actually, he's actually just feeding. I'm, I'm so dead. He's got a comfy pocket. Dude, this is cooked, man. Everyone's chasing me. Look at the glazing man. Look at the glazing man. Look at this glazing man. This is the crap. Get out. Dude, they all just got outplayed so hard. Oh my God. Hold my nuts. They all just got outplayed so incredibly hard. This guy kills me. This guy kills me. This guy kills me! Nerf this mon! How? What? 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 Yo, okay, Grimmy, you're not gonna start your own fuck ass hashtag. Shut up. <laughs> Dude, this mod needs to be nerfed. Oh my god. Oh, I farmed two mega evolutions and I killed a pocketed jungler. Nerf this mod. Oh my god. Yeah, you, you, okay, no, no, you're leaving context out and everybody saw it. You said, like the stream while literally spamming. Huge. Cinderace, you tried, NT. 
And you didn't just spam, you dropped like 20 messages. Bruh. Hey, tell you what, Grimmy, you can do an unban request. You can do an unmod, you can do a remod request, alright? And my people will get back to you people, okay? Yeah, look at that, dude. He tried it. I'm actually so dumb fed, it's ridiculous. But if we die here, they're gonna get- Oh my god! What happened to the game I love? How do I help? I can't get- I can't kill him. Oh my god, dude. I'm actually- If we lose this game, I don't know. If we lose this game, I don't know. I'm almost 15. Look at this kid, dude. Look at this kid. Please, 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 please. Final stretch. Don't give up. No. Shred. Shred. He's one shot. He's one shot. Are you serious, man? I, I'm gonna go insane. I'm gonna go insane. I'm gonna literally go insane, bro. I'm gonna just start seeing red. Bro, get the comfy. Whatever. Oh! Okay. That's a win. Dude, I have three levels on this kid. On okay. He just brave bird me to die. What? Alright, whatever. Oh my god, I play Pokemon Volt White soon? Listen, we're doing Iron Man soon for this, uh, the subathon. We're gonna do Iron Man. I just don't know which one. Which one should we do? Is there a black and white Iron Man? Okay, we're not doing justice for Grimmy. Not if be your own. All right, fine. You win. If I ever see you spam again, you're never getting it back again. Don't ever say I don't do things for you again. Jesus Christ. Dude, their cram was actually this the talent flame. Dude, what's up, man? Dude, they got cooked. I'm sorry. Our, our Kaiba didn't do anything. He has to get blocked and avoided. Mother with a heart? I don't know. You didn't really do anything either. My team was non-existent, dude. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. 41k lane cinderace, 22k and 29k. I was the team. Yeah, I, I nuked Grimmy's mod ship because she's going to sit down and say, Oh, I was doing nice stuff for you. She spammed 35 messages telling people to like the stream. Th spamming that much is insane. Also, she just lied in chat. We can't play Unite together. She's not even Ultra. Oh my God, that was real gaming. Okay, it wasn't 35 messages, it was definitely like 15 messages, it was a lot. That was crazy gaming. That was crazy, yeah, she's not even ultra, we can't even play. She's not even ultra, we can't even play. Yeah, she's spamming again. Look, I looked over the chat, hey, Grimmy, you need to type, and, 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 let's, let's fix your typing. It's just ridiculous. It really, just, it just, it really be your own. Oh, I got the talent flame. You're welcome for the carry, little bro. You are welcome for the carry, little bro. If he invades my jungle, we really got beef. Fourteen K soon. Wait, fourteen K for what, bro? What's up? Oh, fourteen hundred. Yes. I've had a rough season this season, dude. This season feels like I play Mewtwo and I win. Or I lose 
winnable games on Mewtwo. I just feel like this season is the worst player base yet, just because I, I lose games that are winnable. Okay, I'd rather him on Talonflame. He's playing a worse Mon. He's playing a fundamentally worse Mon. Uh, they have no Mewtwo, but they have two tanks that Mewtwo can't... Mewtwo not can't beat, but is annoying for Mewtwo. I really feel like Greedon is a Mewtwo counter. I'll say it. I do. I do. I really feel like Mewtwo... I feel like the Mewtwo Greedon matchup, if you're a good Greedon, you don't win that matchup. I swear. I swear. I said it. I said it. I said it. I think Zero Aura is bust. I think Zero Aura is strong. The problem with Zero Aura is they buffed him and then launched Mewtwo uh, two days later. So it's like... You know what I mean? It's like, Zero Aura, I think, is strong, but they launched Mewtwo, so everyone forgot that Zero Aura is strong and no one plays him. Literally, like, imagine buffing a Mon that needed a buff forever and then they drop a, a fundamentally better jungler. Like, it's like, why would you play... Oh my god, Grimmy Lens out of type. Hey, Grimmy Sobro is actually not bad. She's just... Her rank says she's bad, but she's not bad. You know what I mean? Since he dropped. I haven't played him in two months. Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, they buffed Zero Aura. The Zero Aura now isn't even that Zero Aura you were playing prior, bro. Swear to God. Zero is buzz. He's buzzed, dude. JJK is amazing, guys. I caught up. I caught up. I, I watched all of the what they animated. Cinema. Cinema. Dude. Cinema. Get bodied. Take this. Okay. All right, whatever. Whatever. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna do Iron Man, guys, for this Sabathon. I don't know what else to do, you know? I also don't know if it's going to be capped or uncapped. All I know is that there's no way it's going to bleed into... Um... Oh, she got that. What? She actually got that. He's dead. Nice. Dashing in a Vayden jungle is just too powerful. Yeah. I'm like, as Zash We're still have Kumpfu? He just evolved. He's level five. Dude. Let me get my ult. There we go. Oh my God, everyone's down here. Wait, recover is broken as shit. He's dead. He's dead. He dies. He does. He does. Recover. Wait, how has recover not been nerfed? Wait, recover is broken as shit. Wait, recover is broken as shit. Get this rodent. You're not teleporting. Get the rodent! Come on, man. Come on, man. Look at him, dude. Come on, man. What are you doing, dude? What is your Shifu doing? He's the only guy on the Reggie. You clearly see your team is fighting them when they're low on base, but you instead... I don't know, man. I feel like if your Shifu is there, we kill them because our Shifu has racist damage numbers, right? And it just... Oh my god, come on, man. 
I just want to get my ult. Oh! I got it. Fuck, man. Pull her out! I'm, I'm dead here. I'm dead. Oh, he's running Razor Leaf. Yeah, I'm dead. Shit, man. It was a good try. Honestly, it was a good try. I don't think anyone really trolled there. I think it was a genuine good try. They just threw more alts. You're in trouble. Oh. Look how tanky that man is. Oh. All right, team's got it. I'm going to leave. Look what happens when Rashif is in the fight, though. Unironically, like he was not doing anything all game, and now he's good. That's just Rashifu. That mod actually needs a nerf. Again. I, don't, I know everyone talks about Mewtwo. Mewtwo's this big bad guy, which, yes, I'm not defending Mewtwo. Mewtwo's broken as shit. It needs to be nerfed. How Recover has dodged a single... I don't know. Recover is beyond me. Who's their most fed right now? The Gardevoir's third... What? Wait. It's one! Everyone got wiped! See, I can't kill the Greedon. I can't kill the Greedon. I'm Mega and I can't kill the Greedon. I can't kill the Greedon. <laughs> I probably fucked up there. I need to fight the Squishies instead. There is legitimately no point of me. The Greedon is going ham. The Gardevoir is 14, dude. What? Don't give up. We haven't even taken a top tower. Oh, Blastoise. I know you see them. I know you see them. We dunked, we dunked top. We have to over dunk this top. 16! I'm a really good, I'm a, I just. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm about to get, I'm about to get yelled at. I'm yelling too loud. Dude, 16? Our chief is trolling. Just retreat, man. 16 gold brick is crazy when I have 50 and their Shifa is 40, man. I don't care. I wanted to hit 13 anyway. I don't really care. You're in trouble. Fuck, man. It's actually losable. But I'm 14, though, so it's actually winnable. The card was 15. Oh. Yes! This is why this is why Mewtwo is so broken, dude. This is why Mewtwo is so broken, dude. He's so broken, dude. I I literally hit Shed Doll. I get recover back. I have so much armor. Brrr, do, 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 do. Blastoise ult into Mewtwo ult. Oh my god, that I'm gonna cream, dude. That's stupid damage. So stupid. So stupid. So stupid. Hang on.
Oh my god, dude. No, the Gardevoir did insane damage. Look at this. The Gardevoir is insane. Dude, the Gardevoir was level 15 in Pit before the game even started, and they didn't. I, I, listen, if I'm the Gardevoir, uh, okay. I'd be upset. I'd be upset. I'd be upset. The Gardevoir went insane. Yo, Baku, think of a 10 months, bro. Bro, went a 10 minute game in 10 seconds, and here's 10 months. My man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Oh my god. Yeah, 67 carry Shifu. Huge damage from her Shifu. Huge damage. Huge damage. That was crazy. We literally just I blasters unites. I unite. I hit Shed Doll. Wait for my team to join in, which thankfully my team did walk in that pit. Thankfully they did. I would have cried if they didn't. There's a fly roaming in my room right now. I'm gonna kill the thing. I'm gonna kill the thing. Yeah, Urshifu is just cringe. Like that. I, listen, I think there's more Pokemon that are really broken that people should talk about. That's not only uh, Mewtwo, right? Like A9, A9 needs a nerf. A9 needs a nerf. Urshifu needs a nerf. Dude. You guys know how to find detect someone who's old? You know like when you like message a family relative or you talk to someone who's really old, like I'm talking like 50 plus, and they type like this, I'm gonna type it in chat. Like it's just a bunch of dots. What's the mystery? Old people always talk like this. What is the mystery, bro? What are you plotting? What are you scheming? Swear, it, it, what is this mystery? Like, it's a bunch of dots all the time, bro. They'll be like this. Watch, I'm going to type again. Why do you type a period after asking a question? Like, I, I, I don't, I can't comprehend. I don't understand, bro. What are they scheming? Yeah, A9. A9 needs a nerf. That one is racist. I'm tired of I'm tired of denying it. I'm tired of saying, oh, it's not that bad. No, that mon is broken and it needs to go. You need to put the pause in there. I just don't get it, man. Like, I just don't. I'm gonna start talking like that. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like this. Ready? Go! Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. LOL with a period is fucking crazy. <laughs> Bro. LOL with a period is literally insane. I just like, that's like, I love it. If you ever type LOL with a period, they're never actually laughing out of straight laughter. It is the most angriest laugh you'll ever see. It is literally insane. A9 is, no, she does thrive in this meta, but her burst damage is disgusting. Like she just uses all of her cooldowns on you and you're, you're like a sliver of your health left. A9, yeah, LOL with a period is insane. LOL with a capital L first, and then a period is insane. That person is fighting demons. <laughs> like... <laughs> that shit is fucking hilarious. Hello? This kid's dead. Honey Boo Boo, stop! Dude, I saw, hey, hey, hey. I saw this shit the other day, bro. Tell me this is not bars. This nigga took a picture with his Asian friend and he said, he said my Asian homeboy Korean, he let that K-pop. <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, that shit was hard as fuck, dude. I'm gonna take a picture with one of my Asian boys. I'm gonna be like, yo, let's recreate this, bro. That shit was hard, man. That shit was hard. I let that K pop. Are you kidding? Okay, enough with the dots. Stop with the mystery. No more dots. What are you guys plotting? LOL. Oh, look what I've created. 
This is crazy. What are you niggas scheming in this chat, man? Famous indie game watch too. New invasion story mode. Hey man, I listen. You told me you was you told me you was doing the screens, bro. I thought you was Finito. Dunsky. Aye, man. I know you was gonna come later, and Crystal also told me to look at the chat and said that you was doing scrims. So I was like, alright, he out of here. So Yeah, I, I'll let you know I got it really late today, bro. So I didn't even see that message until after she told me that. So Yeah. 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 Why? He said my shooter Asian. Nah, he said my shooter Korean. I let that K-pop. Bro, is that not hard? That's hard! Dude, I'm tired of fighting him, man. Like, that's so hard, dude. That's so hard, dude. 28? You're insane. I mean, I guess, whatever. You know what, you know, okay, but you know what's even crazier about the post? You guys don't know what's even crazier about the post? His Asian friend he took that picture with wasn't even Korean. So I'm like, nah, is this racist? He wasn't even Korean, bro. He was Vietnamese. Hey, but that line is still hard. That line is hard, bro. That line is hard, bro. Oh, yeah, we're cringe. Yeah, we're cringe. That's what I'm saying. Is that not crazy? His boy wasn't even Korean. His boy wasn't even Korean. I'm like, how you been friends for eight years and you don't know this nigga's not Korean, man? What? Yo, throw gifted five. My goat. Hold up. Kill this fraudulent ass from YouTube, man. What? Push this shit. Keep the pressure on. The fight is on. Cook. 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 This nine tails gets eviscerated. Dude, this Mewtwo's cooked. Alright, we're we retreat. Yo, shout out the goat himself, Will Shocker, man. Thank you, my boy. My man is always generous as hell to our community, man. Thank you, my boy. I really appreciate you, man. If you guys got gifted a membership, give some, give the ghost some love, bro. Okay, he just invades. All right, I guess he needed it more than I did. Whatever. Like, is that balanced, guys? Oh, you gotta hold it. And I hit recover. And I ult. <laughs> nah, yeah, I think get this mod out the game. Get this mod out the game, dude. What? What? I don't. I should not win uh, that fight. I'm good. There's a slow bro there. I should not win that fight, bro. I'm. I'm literally. They throw three ults for me. Four ults. Slow bro. Clefable. Nine tails and Mewtwo. They threw four ults for me, and I still killed two. Uh, I'm good. They throw four ults for me. It's crazy. Dude, have you guys ever, dude, have you guys seen this new meme where the streamer just is like, chat, is this real? <laughs> so, <laughs> dude, this is one I saw the other day. He asked his chat, he's like, chat, is this glaze? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> dude, it's the dumbest shit ever. It'll literally be somebody who is clearly glazing someone. He's like, chat, is this glaze? <laughs> it's so stupid, dude. It's literally the dumbest humor I've ever seen in my entire life, but it, I hate that it makes me laugh. Who? Thanks for warming that up for me. How it going, my guy? So high for the DLC. What mon are you the most excited for okay. the DLC and in draft? Yo! Dude, thank you for the love. My goat is popping off today. Thank you so much, man. What? My 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 love for you is eternal. And I'm forever grateful for you, man. Thank you for the love tonight, my man. 
The most mon that I'm excited for the DLC, probably the Draw on Evo or Raging or Iron Crown or Raging Bolt. Just because, like, I think Raging Bolt might be ass, but we'll see. Because what if it doesn't have any speed? What? I have 50, guys. Okay, whatever, dude. You're 40. I have 42. We're fine. I mean, like, look at this nine tails damage. I, that nine tails damage is insane. I mean, yes, I'm playing V2, but that nine tails actually almost killed me there. Nah, I'm sorry. That Raikou is ugly as shit. I'm sorry. I will not be changing my mind. If I actually change my mind, it's a cry for help. 50? Oh, we, oh, Venusaur jumped mid. Unfortunate. Wait, he's not dunking. What? The final stretch. Wait. Wait, the, the slow is throwing. Wait, wait. Eradicate this clown. The slow bro never got it off. Hello? Thank you. What? You really tried it, huh? You really tried it, huh? This kid has no mega bar. I'm back in mega. I feel like the mega bar needs to be nerfed. Swear. Yeah, now we just we just tried, yeah. Absol's griefing, Absol's griefing. NT on that 100 Absol, you're griefing, kid. You're griefing, kid. What a goal! What a goal! 100 is not worth it. Look how much we're dunking. It is literally not worth it. Absol is trying as hard as to get these stat pads. Let me get that in. What a goal! Omega? Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. This build I have a lot more fun with in the side strike teleport build. Swear to God, bro. Swear to God, bro. <clears throat> yeah, this one is not balanced. I think Rigid Bolt might be trash. Simply do again, Throw Shocker. Thank you so much, my goat man. Give some love again, guys, to Throw Shocker man. If you guys got gifted membership from him, and he also dropped a fat bomb and a super bro. Thank you, King. Appreciate you, bro. Wait. Sorry, I text this guy. Give some love again, guys. Get uh, gift from him is a goat himself, man. Um, just abusing Mewtwo. And you know what's crazy is both of my attackers did more damage than me. Um, but I mean, again, the whole team played great, right? I mean, like, Scizor. But yeah, outside of that, the whole team, outside of the Scizor, played great. What was this guy running? Power up, E speed, Bone Rush, 42k, eh? Um, 39k Scizor is insane. I, I feel like if with all the range that we have of the mute uh, Venusaur and the, the especially the spirit shock of Decidueye, W Decidueye, right? Um, they did definitely did more damage than me, but like, dude, I'm literally like I'm in there. Look at my assists, right? Same with theirs. Like, I'm in there, bro. Yeah, jungle Scizor, I'm pretty sure, is the worst jungler. Anyways, let's go. Yeah, Mewtwo Y comes out next week. When's the 17th? It's a week from today. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Mewtwo for a bit because I'm gonna nerf it. 
Yeah, there's no way. There's no way they don't nerf this shit. This shit's broken as fuck. Guys, the amount of FOMO that I have of not being in Yokohama right now is crazy, dude. Like... I, dude, a lot of my friends are there right now. I'm just like, don't you ever message me again. Don't you contact me again. Don't you talk to me again, bro. Iron Crown will be Steel Psyche. I think it will, yeah. I think the uh, future forms um, are going to all be... Uh, all They're going to all retain the Psychic. I think that's the trait that they're going for, is the past ones retain Dragon, and the future ones retain Psychic. So, like, same typing, X-Dragon, same typing, X-Steel, X-Psychic. So, Grass Psychic, because Virizion retained the Grass, which is its primary typing, right? Same with Raikou, and, I mean, all the dogs, all the dogs, the beasts, were all one typing anyway. So, I just slap on Dragon to it. But, um, so, Terrakia is going to be Rock Psychic, which, yes, we do have Rock Psychics. We have, um, Lunatone and Soul Rock, which I really think that typing is ass, man. I'm sorry, bro. I really do, man. Offensively and defensively, that typing is just going to be ass, man. It's going to be ass. I just, I can't see that typing being good. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I think that Mon is going to be good simply due to the fact that it's probably going to have juice stats. Not, stop with the dot, Salim. What is the mystery, man? Let's put it out. Rock is ant to begin with. It Rock definitely depends on your secondary typing. Definitely depends. Paradox Keldeo, need that. I don't know if Keldeo's gonna get one. You think so? Is it just is it not gonna be just the trios? Listen, I'll say it, guys. Keldeo's my favorite of the, of the four. I'll say it. I've been saying this forever. I like Keldeo. I do like Keldeo. It's a phenomenal typing, and at one point it was an Uber Zavoman. Who's old enough to remember black and white and black and white two meta? Where Keldeo was almost banned, and you had to run hidden power, uh. Hidden Power Ghost and Hidden Power, like, even Bug. Just to touch things like Starmie, Jelson, and Celebi. But I, again, I don't, I don't know. Rock Dragon would be fire on Terrakion, but it's probably not going to be that. Yo, what if they change it? What if Terrakion gets a past one? And Entei gets a future. Guys, I'm sorry as well, too. I think the future design is still clear. Um, I, I love that, like, mecha shit. Maybe it's because I like I I didn't I wouldn't even like a ton of mecha animes growing up, but I just love it. I love that mecha shit, man. I love it, dude. I love it. Oh, they pushed way too deep, dude. I'm dead. Yeah, he just they gave him mega. The swine up just fed and gave him mega. Crown design is top tier. I'm sorry. It's it's legitimately so far. No, I think there's not a single miss on future designs. Not a single miss. Even Iron Jugulus. Not a single miss. Wait, I'm gonna get we're gonna get rolled. We're, we actually get rolled here. No, we well, I think we lose this. The Mewtwo's way too fed. I'm sorry, I don't like Raging Bolt. <laughs> Team? Wait, what? Nobody rotated. They rotated and I got no rotate. The Mewtwo is way too fat, dude. He's level 8. I'm only 6, man. He invaded me and ruined my disruption and everything. He has help. It's tough, man. It's tough. Check it out. Oh, he's pinging the swine up. Yeah, the swine up is legitimately feeding. Oh my god, he's nine! 
Obvious, obvious. I, 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 out, I outplayed him, but it doesn't matter. He has help from the Inteleon. Bundle and Valiant are literally top 10 designs from the entire game. I'm only seven. Wait, why is the Nine Tails pinging me? For what, you goblin? You sewage monster? Don't you ever ping me again. Like what? The Mewtwo just has support. Oh, he's pinging the Wiggly now. This guy's a monster. He pings everyone's a problem but him. Just rip, dude. Just rip it. Yeah, rip. Yes, Dodrio! That's support! Hold this? Nice. That's how you gap these clowns. Take his jungle. Come on. Now that's how you gap these clowns. There we go. Yep, come on, Ninetales, take this. Nice. Oh, help him, help him. Why are we sitting base? Help him. Dude. He had a great gank there. Odd. Paradox killed your son's very cool. Water psychic. So that, that should be really good. You're on fire. Oh shit. We still have Pillow Swine. We still have Pillow Swine. Everyone's fed but him. Bro, just farm, man. Stop, stop, stop. Just get a kill, man. Stop running it down. What? Why are you pinging me? There's monsters in this game, guys. Fuck you, dude. Dude, the most obvious ult ever. I'm literally outplaying so hard. This monster pings me, dude. Stop pinging me, you monster. We're really about to have beef, bro. Yeah, this guy just evolved. But he wants to ping me? Bro, what are we doing? Rip it. What? Wait, what are we doing? Guys, what happened to the game I love? Rip this. I mean, I die here. I die here. Yeah, I die here. I'm caught up to him in levels. And I'm actually give, diffing him. I have more kills than him. He's running teleport. Okay. Yeah, again, 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 again. We, do, we don't have a tank. 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 I do love this game. I do. Why are there two FFing before Ray? Nah, man. This game spawns Come monsters. On, like, they're at bot. I hope it's not steel. I don't know what it is. Ninetos. Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. We, we, you take this, we're really about to have a problem. Okay, losable? But ironically, losable? Dodrio, please, man. Why do you dive three? Nah, bro, what? Nah, <laughs> Fred. Sad Fennekin. Fennekin, why are you sad?
Alright, Mammoth Swine needs to ult, and then uh, Bliss, uh, Wigglytuff needs to ult, and then I ult. That's how this goes. We do that, and I probably wipe. No way, buddy. Let's walk out. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. I gotta pull somebody in, pick out a squishy. Um. Okay. Or not. Obvious. Red. Pull him in. Oh! Ew, we're all dead! We're all dead! To what? Where did the team go? What did we get wiped by? Yeah, ping his ass. Yeah, ping that nine tails. Ping that sewage monster. Dude, what happened? That was perfect. I yoinked in the Mewtwo and five were hit with my ult. Five of them were hit with my ult. What just happened? Let's get a damage count on this Mammoth Swine. Wait, I didn't do any damage at all. Wait, this guy didn't either. <laughs> I gapped him at least. Wait, their Inteleon went insane. What? 26k is alarming. You're blocked. Um, you're reported. This is deliberate. Self. Dude, he did deliver self KO this game. What was this game, man? I, I beat their jungler. But like, what was this game? What up to the game I love? Well, genuinely, though, that's a real question when I say that, guys. Like, I'm not just saying that. Like, what genuinely happened to the game I love? Sewage Monster is crazy. It is crazy. That he just kept ping spamming for what? Dude, I don't know, man. Did you guys see that in VGC right now? Um, did you guys see that uh, Fluttermane has higher usage than her Shifu? Crazy. Fluttermane is still her. She really carrying the VGC metagame right now. She's really carrying it. She's really carrying it right now. Fluttermane is genuinely care. People kept saying, oh, I, I, I think good players weren't saying this, but I definitely saw a lot of players saying that Fluttermane is like going to have slight fall off because there's going to be better things like Eleki and like Urshifu. Bro, she is still dog walking these clowns. You can't take that away from her. Oh no, man! It's GG's, GG's, GG's. They're a two stack. GG's, GG's, GG's. I lost. I lost. I lost. I lost. GG's. I lost. I lost. Good game. Good game. I lost. GG's. I lost. I lost. I lost. Good game. I lost. I lost. Good game. I lost. Good game. I lost. Good game. I lost. Good game. I lost. I lost that team preview. Good, good game. I lost, guys. I lost. I lost. I lost a team preview. I lost. I lost. I lost, man. I lost. I lost. No, 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 no. <laughs> play Delphox. Please play Delphox. Play, please play Delphox. Please play Delphox. Okay. Dude, if he would have locked in Cinderace. Their comp looks annoying. Only frail mons on their comp is the attackers. Comp looks annoying. What happened to the game I love? Genuinely, genuine question. What actually happened to the game that I love? What happened? Can two stacks please stop only laning? No, literally. If I'll tell you right now, guys, if you are a two slash three stack and you're not locking support, you are actively throwing. 
If you are a three stack and you are not actively locking support, you are throwing as a three stack. Don't lock all attackers or, or freaking junglers on three stack. You need to lock a support on three stack. You outnumber a majority of the team. Ready? Go! Let's go. This game used to be fun, and you know what's crazy? Mewtwo Y is coming, the more broken Mewtwo. And they nerfed the shit out of that Mewtwo before he's going live. I hope they nerf him again before he goes live. Buff Crustle, nerf Mewtwo's. Actually, I lied. Don't buff Crustle. I hate that man. Keep him dead. Love is a strong word for this game, but I'm probably mentally insane. I, pro I, I got a lot of mental issues. I'm probably insane. Right, there's no way that I can play this game and stream it on the daily and not be insane. You know? There's no way. Yeah, buff Serena! You're gonna tell me that Mon's been dead for a year and we're just fine with this? I don't care how broken she was when she was... What? This guy's pinging me frame one? For what? For what? What's your problem, dude? What's your problem, dude? The game just started. It's over. We lost. They're tilted. They're tilted. They're tilted. Look at him standing in the open. He's spamming back. No, they're tilted. I'm sorry your duo sucks. How are you still an Umbreon? I'm sorry your duo sucks. Genuinely though, I really am sorry your duo sucks, but you guys gotta work on it. We still have a Gossifleur and he's evading my jungle? This is the cooked lobby. This is a really cooked lobby, bro. Guys, this lobby looks cooked. Scizor needs a slight buff. Slight. Very slight. I, I cannot stress how slight it needs to be. Anything too major and he's dumb. Wait. I have a cover. You're not winning this. <laughs> they still have an Eevee? They still have an Eevee? Retreat, man! Stop throwing as a two stack. Retreat! Yeah, Mewtwo's autos are kind of insane. I think it needs to go. That's why I just run Rapid Scarf. Feel me? Look at that. You mean to tell me that's fair? That's not fair, what I just did. How do you outplay that? You don't. If you get snatched, you lose. And it's so easy to snatch. Dude, they actually get outplayed so hard, it's crazy. But then my entire team dies. Like, I outplayed them so hard. I, I, doll, this, I doll the Lapras ult. The Mewtwo's 1 HP. I kill him there, but he has support from the Lapras, who does more damage than the Mewtwo there. Right? But my entire team gets team wiped by God knows what. What are we team wiped from? I don't know. I don't know, man. The Mewtwo just got ult, and I already used mine. I don't know, man. I just started, dude. Just start it, man. Start it. Start it. I don't know what my entire team got wiped by. Memo, he just got buffed, bro. Yeah, uh, timing diff. Umbreon's like legitimately griefing. Umbreon is legitimately griefing. Wait, I could probably wipe them all here. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, man. Don't give up. What? <laughs> I have 36. You stack with that. I have 36. The Umbreon is. I don't know, man. I guess you want your sacks pop off. I don't know, man. Cheddar needs a nerf. That item is broken as shit. It's the best item in the game. If you're smart and you learn the timing. You are stupid. Their duo is legitimately trolling. What? Gather here. Fuck you, man. This game makes me insane. I'm sorry, guys. This game makes me literally insane. Do your thing, big boy. Do your thing. Yeah, he probably outruns me now. Hey, what? Where are we at? Oh! He dies, he dies, he dies! Three seconds, three seconds, three seconds. Just start it. Decidue, oh, he's, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's distracted Decidue, I just started. They got the better one, unlucky. I don't know if I, I had ult. I probably should have just used my ult there. Oh, we kind of have to push this now. Huge. Pulling in. What? Just dunk, just dunk, just dunk, just dunk, just dunk. What a goal. I'm dead. Whatever. I got the 50 in. So whatever. Who's, uh, I'm still higher level than them, and I got the 50, and we're good. And I forgot to say hi, so I apologize for not saying hi first. Hey, at least he knows the bit minimum rules, right? At least he said hi first. NT Gabe, NT Gabe, NT Gabe, NT Gabe. Yeah, we're cooked. I think Spoon needs a nerf. Because it's like, you could drop Pokemon that are legitimately, like, I personally believe that are balanced. Like Chandelure. Chandelure was slightly, like... A little overtuned though, a little bit, right? But the problem is that it's it Shindle already has spadef reduction on the enemy off of smooth, but then stack that on with slick spoon, and it literally makes every buff on a mage like unplayable. I look at A9. A9, its kit is already broken, but dude, then the slick spoon just makes it really overtuned. Mewtwo Y with spoon is actually over. You're on fire! Alright, snatch one out. How are we losing, man? Where's our Delphox? Dude, we just lose, man. We just lose pit fight. We just lose pit fight. Look how low they are with my ult, dude. We just lose pit fight, dude. I hate this duo. I hate this duo. I hate them. Fuck, man. Let me not be toxic. Let me stop. They're just ruining my games, man. Yeah. Shit, man. You know what's crazy is they probably think I'm the problem because they played with me twice and I've lost, but it's like, dude, we just didn't even throw a Delphox hold there. You lose. I just don't get it, man. I just, I just don't. Like 32K, man. I just, I don't understand. No one on my team did damage. It's unfortunate, man. I mean, like, look, this guy has uh, the, the Lapras doing 86K. The Decidueye is getting his numbers in. Right? At least 43k higher is higher than my entire team, but literally look at my numbers. Look at my team. Like, we're not doing anything, dude. My damage might be less than the Mewtwo, but I have more picks than him. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. It's just... 
Stop giving me this duo. Please stop giving me this duo. I don't want to play with... I need to wait a bit. I don't want to play with this duo. It's a duo that just trolls, man. I don't want to play with this duo. Like, why are they in my games? Yeah, me too. I'm excited. Said no one ever. They just shouldn't even be in my games, man. They just shouldn't even be in my games, man. How many should this do I even have? 40? What is this? Uh, two times coins. I don't, what do I even get? I got everything that's like relevant, right? What do I even get here? I guess I'll get that. I don't know, man. It's so many per coin. Is it really? I should probably use it then, huh? Let me go to my item box and use that right now. Where is it at? Here it is. I have 18. I never use these. Seven day boost AOS coins. And then what is this? Doubles the amount of battle points earned. I may as well use all of this, because why not? I never use this stuff. Allows you to draw an available Unite license again. Is it permanent? Look at all these temporary licenses I have. Temporary skin. I never use these. I, I just don't like. I just don't see the point. I guess. Oh, uh, is it a ton? Dark Rock for third any would go hard. That'd be hard. That would actually go hard. Here, let me max some of these items. Let me max this Rapid Scarf. I can't. Look how much tickets I have. I may as well, right? Like, look. I don't have covered cloak. I'll never buy it. Um, let me just max it out because I have so much tickets. There we go. Get that to 30. What else should I get to 30? I don't get some of these my items to 30. I don't really play this a lot. I don't play any supports. This item sucks. This sucks. Right? I mean, I guess Floatstone, but I don't play Floatstone. I don't play Shell Bell anymore either. So it's like every item I care about is basically maxed. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I just had a Rapid Scarf. I was just lazy. I just had it sitting at 27 for a minute. I mean, like, what else? Right? I don't, I don't know. So okay, why not? Dude, guys, give me a second. I literally have to wait, so un momento, guys. I will be right back.
<sighs> All right. I'm, I'm dedicated on fixing this leap. So I got me some Red Bull. Not the chair being sexy. I got me some Red Bull because I'm dedicated on fixing this leap, man. My season chill is cooked. I don't think y'all understand, bro. Um. All right, let's go. Let's do it, fuck it. When are we? Oh yeah, we can actually play now. <laughs> you know what, Dream? You let me know and we will play. Let me see that Lapras. Let me get that Lapras carry. Dream hit master. She don't know how to act no more. She ain't even know how to move. Pennywise! GG's. I lost. I lost. I lost. I lost. I don't get why people think future paradoxes are worse when shock spawn it. Thank you. Joshy, thank you. Thank you. People think that the future designs are bad because they're just robotic and lame. Does them having a, it, okay. Objectively speaking, we all can agree. The past paradoxes, objectively speaking, have a much more like different design than the future ones. But does that mean that they're better? No. It's such a stupid argument. It's been going on for almost a year. Just because there's more design effort not effort, just because there's more design changes to the original design of the Mon in the past paradoxes doesn't mean that they're better. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. Robots are cool, right? It is not lazy that the robots, but you know what is lazy? Them having iron in the name. That is actually lazy. Extra deck Elder Gods? Wait, you might be right. Pass that big tails. Spitting queen, spitting. 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 Literally spitting. Spitting. I don't know. I think the pad the violet paradoxes genuinely look cool as shit. There's not a single miss. Like I thought to myself, am I being biased? No, like they literally don't have a single miss. I don't think Iron Jug is bad. Competitively speaking, there's a different argument. I hear next you alright, man. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Yeah, the names could definitely be better, right? The names could be better. I'm sorry, Iron Thorns is a hard name. But then it's okay, think about it. There is not a single past Paradox Pokemon that looks cooler than Iron Valiant. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not one. No, Roaring Moon is not cooler than Iron Valiant. I said it, I said it, I said it. I said it, I said it, I said it, I said it. Iron Valiant is the coolest Paradox Mon we've ever gotten. Okay, dude. Okay, okay. I'm dead. Oh, except when he misses. You know what's crazy? I think Solar Blade needs a nerf too. Like, that's, you just click it and they do half your damage. Like, what? Ready to slay. Just gave Jiggle of a tail and y'all calling the bots lazy designed? No, literally though. No, but literally though. And you know what's crazy? I like Scream Tail's design. But I, I will agree with you on that. Iron Valiant is the best Paradox Mon we have ever gotten. Oh. Pick you out. And let me leave. Come into me. Come into me. Come into me. Come into me. Uh, he a little late, but he still came here. A little late, but he still came here. Okay, yo, chill, chill, chill. Sivian, chill. Sivian, chill, chill. Chill, chill, chill. Iron Hand is fire. Iron Jug is fire. 
Iron Treads is fire. I know people don't like Iron Treads. Iron Treads is more controversial. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ego this, ego this, ego this, ego this, ego this, ego this, ego this. We're gonna shoot that instead. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro, but Pikachu is a next level cringe. Next level cringe, bro. I'm 50-50 on treads, 25, 25 on treads. Like leaning towards treads or not lagging treads? I gotta get there fast. Shit, the Leaf Fin does not have ult. Oh, now he has ult. They're dead, they're dead, they're dead. Let me recover. Outplayed. Outplayed. Literally outplayed! Oh my god, dude! Jesus, man. Dude. Uh, I don't, this item is broken as shit. This item is broken as shit. It's so broken, dude. It's such a short cooldown. Yes, tree. Yes, man. You're done. You're washed up, kid. Hang on. We have ults. Don't be afraid, Sylveon. Come on. Come on. Dura has ult. Dura, I believe in you, big bro. Come on. Yeah, you gotta just like that move is just hilariously cringe. I got time, bro. Nope. <laughs> You're on fire. No. Dude, come on, man. They threw everything into me. We got the Aleki, but it's like. Also, my team got wiped. Wait, right, Dura cleans up. Anti Dura, anti. Yeah, broken, right? I love my team until we lose Ray Pit, then I hate my team, they're all trash. <clears throat> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I have time, I have time. I can, I, can, I can clear all this very fast. Why doesn't it pull them in? Is it like the, the very outer part of the range? I think it's a, the shortest part of the ring. Nah. No way, buddy. Is that them? Oh, I wish it was. Oh, I wish it was that shitty duo. Oh, I wish it was that shitty duo. Look at him. Look at him. Hold up, I got time. Yep. You're on fire. Ah! Yes. Let's do that, lucky boys. Come on.
you ult for this? 30 seconds before, no, reported. I have to dodge him, I have to dodge him. I can't have him in my game, I can't. What was that? What was that? Is it worth? No, we just, we just retreat, it's not worth. Take this. Come on, Sylvie, come on. Nice, we just leave. Yep, we take their stuff. Hold out, come on, Dura, touch it. Dura, 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 no, Dura, no, Dura. Dura, no! Wait, losable. We lose, we lose, we lose, we lose, we lose. I try to help the Duraladon, man. I try to help the- I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. I fucked up. We chilled out bot berries. They're on it, they're on it, they're on it! Three W retake, three W retake, three W retake, three W retake. Nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares. This kid needs to die. Oh my god, man. Every last use. Every last use. Oh. Yeah, someone just jumps. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna die. Fuck, man! We stomped them the entire game and lose that pit. The Dura just ran bottom. And then I trolled. I shouldn't have even tried to help him. I was like over here in this grass trying to fight them over here so that he could come over, but he died, so it just... Look what's good, bro. No, Y is better than X. Why is better than X? Shit, man. You lose. I tried to help him, I did. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, he is running wood hammered. Horn leech. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Wait, he has attacking moves. Just hit the attacking moves. Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. How is this literally possible? Is he PvEing the entire game? Wait, we didn't have a tank at all. At least I had Umbreon disrupting. We had no tank and he's running Wish. We didn't have a tank at all. He had attack way too? Dude, you just click the A button and you definitely deal more damage. I lost nothing for that. He was AFK. What? I still reported him. I still reported him. I lost nothing for that. He was AFK, man. He was AFK, dude. <sighs> he was AFK. But the report went through, yeah. I don't even like know what, like I feel like. Like is my will to live not over?
right, guys, let's cook. I gotta change this emblem loadout. Dodge right now? Let's play next, bro. Let's play next. Tag it next. Tag it next. Tag it next. Yo, did you guys see all the Boruto stuff dropping today? Dude, the, the time skip design looks hard, man. Oh, no, Mewtwo. I can actually play Zero Aura. The time skip design just looks so hard, man. Like, I'm sorry, but Boruto is... A, we're, we're actually about to witness some peak with Boruto, man. Nah, Boruto drops uh, this month. I think it's the end of this month. Ready? L unironically peak incoming. Say what you want about Boruto. Say what you want. I'm not going to defend it. I understand part one Boruto is not good. I get it. As a Boruto fan, I'll tell you, part one Boruto is not good. It had high moments. It had high moments, but it was literally not good. I think more Boruto fans need to acknowledge that. People didn't like it for a reason. It was not good. Part one Boruto was literally filler, slice of life. It was not good. But this next stuff we're about to get is gonna be crazy, dude. Sorry to time skip, Boruto time skip. This is some real peak Naruto, man. Cause the high moments of Boruto, I would argue, are better than some parts of Shippuden. Swear on my life. But the Kawaki arc is actually like up there with Shippuden, bro. Swear to God. Yeah, the whole stuff for the time skip, bro. It's about to be peak cinema. I'm I'm really excited for this. I really am. We get some zero order gaming. We get some zero order gaming. Their junglers down bot, coming through. Dude, I'm literally one HP. Spawn is so frail. Ugh. He's one! Two? Oh, we killed him here. Am I running weight? No, nah, I'm not running weight. I wish I was running weight. I wish I was running weight. Our Mewtwo's level 7. He's playing lane. EXP share. <gasps> and we have someone who rotated. I could cry. Barbie movie, bro, chill. Barbie movie was fire. I didn't watch it, but I heard really good things. <sighs> I heard really good things. They have lanes, score bunny. Yikes. Still a score bunny. I got top and shred. Wait, why is four bot? Uh, Me too's fine. He's got it. I'll go top. Yeah, we should go bot actually. Let's go. Yeah, the highs are extremely high, but consistently it was a low. 100% agree, bro. Nice, I have all. Someone's right here in this bush. Yeah, it's Lapras. Alright, 
I swear to God, bro, you better back up, man. I swear to God, I do that shit again. I swear to God, I do that shit again. I swear to God, I do that shit again. I swear to God, I do that shit again. I swear to God, I do that shit again. I probably should have saved my ult for top. That's what I was doing, but it was the message, guys. I had to ego ult them. It was the message. Oh! Oh my god, they're low as shit. 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 Oh! I'm Espeon! It was, it was, it was, it got me stunned! Side beam. I couldn't volt switch back. Shit. Blue Fort is gonna be so heat. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Just because I love Naruto content, you know? I'll consume anything Naruto, really. That series got a chokehold on me. You're on fire. I have ult! Alright, let's cook. I'm gonna nuke somebody right here. Yep, I told you I wouldn't. Hey guys, let's do this. I can't solo this. Who said I can't? Team left. Why, guys? Why did we all leave? I guess because bottom Reggie. I guess yeah. Slowborn beat is something I thought I haven't seen in a minute. Uh, Yellow BB. Okay, he lasted steals. Yeah. How? He's the only one here. How? He's the only one here. How did we let that happen? Yo ho ho! He took a bite of gum gum. Like how did we let that happen? I just want to know what happened to the game I love. Hello? Yeah, 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 keep running. Let's take this. Come on. I have 50. What are we not? Two, one. I hit the ZR. Why does it not come out? Dude, button input in this game? Swear to God. If I was on mobile, button it would be better. I literally hit ZR, nothing uh, comes out. I have to mash it, dude. Maybe it's my controller. Do you give me a thing for the third 25 months, bro? We've been Twitter saying already that Borto time skip design is peak. And that is literally just a wannabe Zoro. It's still peak. That Borto design is peak. Saying it's a wannabe Zoro isn't an insult, though. Zoro looks fire. Plus, we, we saw time skip Borto years ago. Yeah, I mean, it's not new. Wait, we should go top. All right, I guess I'm going to dunk here. Can I get away with this? I did. You can do it. Yeah, they just dunk in there. We have to work this right now. They're gonna dunk in there, aren't they? They're already starting it. Come on, man! What are we doing? We're all punching a Lapras. We should win this. Yeah, we should win this. We should win this. I shot out so much damage there. I literally pumped out a urethra amount of damage there. A ridiculous one. Dude, we are actually trash! Oh, oh my god, I can't. I, I, I mentally just can't, dude. I can't. 
I'm gonna start saying some really bad words, dude. I can't, man. How? How, dude? How? I'm gonna really start saying some bad words, bro. Bro, I'm gonna really start saying some bad words, man. I'm gonna really start saying some bad words, man. I'm for real about to start saying some bad words, man. I'm like, actually, dunk, man. Come on, get this shit in, bro. Come on, bro. <sighs> Yo, push up, push up. Whatever, I accidentally hit it back. Whatever we lost, whatever we lost, whatever we lost, whatever we lost. Whatever we lost. I'm. I'm Whatever we lost. Three, Whatever we lost. Two, Whatever we lost. One. Awesome. I can't even comprehend how we lose this game. I can't even comprehend how we lose this game. I genuinely cannot, dude. What like what are we doing, man? Like what are we doing? 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 You win. I'm about to get racist. <laughs> Dude, what is this game, man? I don't even know. I don't even know. I, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. You're blocked. Uh, I don't even know, man. I just, I don't even know. I, I don't I, I don't get it. I just, I don't get it, man. It's because we overdunked. Mew and the Mewtwo overdunked bottom. And I dunked, I just kept st slowly dunking on bots. So I guess it worked out. But dude, it doesn't change the fact that that game frustrated me, dude. That game frustr- Stop, man! Gabe, I'm waiting. Are you here, Gabe? Yo, Caleb? Yo, Nexus, why aren't you restreaming the Pokemon stream? Because I can't say bad words about the Pokemon stream. So I'd get sued ASAP. Gabe, are you here? Oh yeah, bro. <clears throat> There's a unite one. VG, TCG. All right, until Gabe shows up, I don't know where this kid's at. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, for legal purposes, we can't say anything rude or negative about. What I'm about to restream, it is the Pokemon stream, so we can't say anything negative about it. So please behave. Um, thank you. MG MJK versus Team Peps right now. Bro, look at these real team comps. Oh, that's right, they're allowing Zashi in here, that's right. And it's on current patch. We're gonna let it fly. I'll be fine. Hey, I'm not taking any chances. Yo, they don't even have. There's no commentary in this. It's just straight gaming, no commentary. Oh, so we'll be right back. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm glad. Yo, Jason, I'll leave it on the month, bro. Tell you about the amount of unwarranted love Raging Bolt is getting. You said it, man. Unwarranted is right. Unwarranted is right. Unwarranted is right. Who did TTV... Who did they lose to? Oyasumi Makuro. Okay, they're still playing top tier stuff. Yep. This team's actually running Gudra. Which, after the buffs, Kudra is very good now after those buffs. I like that they show the level now as well, too. I think the last one I watched, they didn't even have the layout like this, so I like that. Yeah, it seems like it's our Shifu jungle with, what is this? Umbreon or Sylveon? Umbreon. Okay. They have double defender. It makes sense. With a comp as frail as Inteleon, 
the double defender, if they're like Lily in the front face, Inteleon can just stay far back and keep shooting. Inteleon loves brawl comps because he just he destroys them. He loves them. He likes he's playing in like aggro brawl comps like this. Like literally everyone outside of the Gudra is like a brawler. Even the Gudra's just like power up in the men. They lost to MJK. Damn. That's crazy. MJK must have played a great game. Yeah, Inteleon. He's running acrobatics. Interesting. But yeah, see, look at that. Look at this. Look what he plays. He plays far back. He's got all the kite damage here. Right? Like, that's perfect until on gameplay. That's perfect until on gameplay. This mod is, like, really busted. You play perfectly like this and you're fine. Look at this. How he's never this close into them. He's just playing so perfect, dude. So perfect. Look at this. Pick them out. Pick up the squishies. Empty. He got frozen. Empty. That's, like, good until on gameplay. A Unite Grind Sesh? I don't know what I'm doing this weekend, honestly. His Team Peps, MJK right now. So, Team Peps is EU. EU. They're running Gardevoir. Okay, Gardevoir's ult is huge. Gardevoir's range damage is really good. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know, Adrian. I don't think I'm doing anything. Yeah, most people game on their phone as well, too. Because it, it, it's better refresh rate. No lag. Instant input. Uh, uh, detection? Instant. Legit instant. Legitimately, it's instant. Yep, they overdunked this with the Aleki. This is huge. They just did. Dude. Yo, Pept is going crazy. Dude, they have a level 12 Gardevoir. And they've taken almost every tower. Pept is going insane. I should play Zacian. I haven't tried that new skin yet. I should play with it. Look at their team. Three legendaries. It's crazy. This is the B stream? Is there an A stream? Real gaming, guys. Here we go. Dude, their comp looks nuts. I like this aggro comp. Aggro Blastoise with the defensive slow, bro. Right? Comfy Pocket Zork or Inteleon or Blastoise. I love aggro comps like this. I love it. I love it. A Spraggles in a commentary. Let's go. Oh, it's Luminosity. Yeah, I see Overlord and Ryan. Oh, damn, Zorak got bodied. Umbreon was going in. Yeah, Zork. It's hard, man. I mean, Clef is tanky. Umbreon's tanky. It's hard, man. Or Shifu's going nasty. Damn, I know what I'm doing tonight. I'll be watching all of this tonight. Yeah, Luminosity is crazy. I love aggro comps like this. They probably play so coordinated as well, too. I've seen a lot of their games. They play so coordinated. It's Surf. Yeah, Surf Telekinesis. You just surf CC them into uh, like Rapid Spin or even the uh, Zork and you're good. Huge. Lapras is immediately back. The ult into the slow, bro. Look how much his HP went back, dude. That's the best tank in the game. Put respect on the best tank in the game. Yeah, double surf is insane. Yeah. It's CC chaining. That way that the Zork and the Antenna can do a lot more. Damn. Gonna have the opportunity to pressure forward with that Lapras. Nice little surf. Moonlight comes out, keeps them topped off. Snowy's gonna look for an engage. They go to the back line and they collapse on top of Kyrios and they get the KO instantly with the Lapras. Huge. Huge steal, man. Huge steal on the Aleki. Huge steal. Shut down 
this side of a luminosity. Like I said, it felt like every single pick from SAUL was a counter pick to luminosity. And we're seeing it. Here. No, literally. Well, that's the thing. Umbreon into Zorak is like hell. It feels like Zorak can't do anything to Umbreon, I swear, man. They have a look at it, they even have Lapras too and Clef. Or Shifu's really tanky as well, too. It's gonna be hard to play Zorak into that. It is. Yeah, it's looking fantastic early. They just have so many tools to shut down Luminosity right here. Registeel getting chipped up, but they are letting it back. The snipe shot unfortunately misses for the side of Luminosity, as the Solar Beam also does from SAUL. And we're just gonna see if either one of these teams really wants to push this fight up in the top path. Lapras does go down. That's all Mike for the side of SAUL Esports. But there are two members of Luminosity top. Nice big Unite move, as this Registeel is getting incredibly low. Dude, the blast was is gaming! <laughs> But the Muse steal! No, that's gotta be so tilting. They've stolen both Reggies twice, dude. That has gotta be so frustrating. You see the Blastoise? He buttoned in, autoed it, and then hit ult. It was a sliver. It was a sliver. Huge comfy ult. Yeah, Clef, I feel like Clef is such a counter to Zorg. Clef is such a counter. No, they're, they're gaming. Luminosity is a top level team as well too, so SAUL is gaming. They still do need to watch out though because that level 13 Zorark is looking to pick up more KO. They are so literally they gaming. Finding opportunities to shut it down between the gravity and the mean look and the displacement from the Lapras. It's a team straight from India as well too. You love to see their representation, man. Yo, there's Dur. Shifu is fed. So is Ryan on the Zorark. And then two players collapsed on top of Overlord to get that KO. This team understands what they're up against, and they're trying to make as many moves as possible to keep that thing going. And you can see oh, he's mean look. No, they're countering the Zork hard, man. That's got to be frustrating. Even at this point. Hey, we stand the India team. We got to stand. Got to stand. Got to stand my cousins. As Ray Quaza is hitting the map right now. All Might putting in 50 in the top. Oh, I didn't even notice running snipe shot. Oh, Lapras backdoor dunked 100. Dude, the Blaster is gaming. Big surf again by the Slowbro. Slash is spacing incredibly well. SAUL needs to find their way in. Slow beam on top of Snowy. Comfy ult, huge. Jumps back into the comfy ult with a little passive heals. Huge. Two tanky mons are left, though. It's going to be hard to Zorg on that. Yeah, they got to reset. They got to reset. Urshifu's coming back. Blasters and Intellion are coming back. Dude, this is a game, bro. This is a game. Yo, Zorak going to a surf? Huge! Oh my god! S8! S8! UL's going crazy, bro! Yeah, less than a minute. They have to rip the Ray or backdoor. Yeah, they're, they're giving up Ray. They're going for backdoors. They're giving up Ray. It's smart. The blaster is on Ray, though. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's Jover. Mew got two. It's Jover. It's Jover. Mew with the ult. The Mew is clutching. Dude, the Mew clutched. Oh, my God. Yeah, Luminosity is a god tier team. That's a huge win they got off them. Huge win they got off them. Yeah, 
tell you what, if this is a race, they're off through a boot. Team so India, man, let's go. Stuff right here from SAULs. We talked about they got the jerseys on, too. That's hard, bro. That's hard. A counter pick. Every single pick from the side of SAUL did something to shut down Luma. That's crazy. Dude, they gamed. That was top tier Unite Gaming. You see how coordinated they are, too? You'll never get a game like that in ranked. Look at it, dude. Look at this comeback. They last hit stole Aleki and... This is when they last hit stole Aleki and Reggie Steel. Huge, dude. They just went insane. No, they, dude, they are, they are massive upset on the champs. Massive upset. 98k on the Lapras. Jeez. Yeah, uh, look at them though. Right, Overlord is going crazy. Yeah, Rhino's on a Blastoise. Overlord is looking crazy. I mean, Overlord is literally one of the best Zorks. That's the best Zorks the game has ever seen. Right? We all know this. He's nasty on Zork. He is the Zorg player. Hey, my man Zoinks! Yo, the venue looks crazy, dude. Look, and they're on their phones, dude! Mobile gaming! Yeah, the Clef went ham. 104 with gay heals and the Clef, the Clef went ham. Yeah, coordinated pair song is actually just insane. Like, Lapras excels at coordinated gameplay, right? Like, if you're really fat, you can just destroy them, but Lapras is just so good. And I'm watching worlds. Um, I guess I should do that, huh? All right, there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Dude, I gotta get comfy. Get comfy, boys. I we have to see this set. I th who I think you think I think they're gonna ban Lapras. You think they ban Lapras in this? Cause they ban Hoopa. No, they're not ban Hoopa again. Cause they can sacrifice a tank for Hoopa. They might just they and go double support. They might ban Hoopa again. Let's go, India! We have to see this set. We have to see this set. Definitely nailed that team coordination there. As we mentioned, just sticking together. But you know what? I feel like these team fights it were definitely reflected in the stats. Obviously, those high healing, the high tanking, yes, that high damage output as well. Like it doesn't matter if the slow board does 45k damage, the surf CC chain is insane. Look at it. Look at we look at we stop stem from pushing through with the surf CC, dude. That's how you play a tank. Look, and he, he tries to help them dunk by Surf CC chaining? We had them going back, making sure Ashifu was there to defend that top tier 2 pad, and obviously... So they banned Luminosity, banned Leafeon, and SAUL banned Hoopa. I think they're gonna ban... I think Lumino... I don't know, I think Luminosity might just ban Lapras, we'll see. <laughs> they all don't... Dude, they're all banning slow, bro. Slowbro is that's a very good mod. It's top three mods in a game. Yep, they ban. Yep, and they ban Hoopa. It was unanimous, bro. It was unanimous. It was unanimous. Hello? That was my choice, so I'm glad to see they are thinking of the same mind. However, Inteleon could be stolen away from Kyrios. I'm interested to see what... Oh, DK with the five. Don't know. Thank you, man. Have, have a good night. About to see if a good one. PS Borto still sucks. Lol. Come on, man. Yo, good night, bro. Thank you for coming on, man. Good night, man. Oh, they're pulling out Leafeon. Obviously, they picked up Inteleon and Leafeon, but that leaves it open for Umbreon to be picked up. Yup. Look at it. They're just going to substitute with the Lapras. 
looking nice right now. They're looking incredible. I mean, that I'm sorry with Umbreon. Is gonna be so absurdly strong. Oh my god, they have Buzzwall and Tree. It's going to look fantastic. You have a Leafeon coming out of the central area with an absurdly fast clear. You can get those wild Pokemon out so quickly. And get Serena? And then you're going to have Buzzwell holding down the top half. That is a very... Serena? Start. Grabbing oh my god. I was like, wait, hang on. Nah, nah, nah. It was bait. It was bait. It was bait. It was bait. I was going to say, he's not going to troll in worlds. Serena would be insane. More fast in your face style, play style. SAUL Esports is going to stick with that Clefable pick. It's going to look great. Maybe echoing. No one's echoing. Italian and Leafeon might be a bit more on their own. However, they can play at great range or in Leafeon's case, great speed. Now, the thing is, it's kind of switched. Oh, it might be because he's at the, he's at the venue. So the venue is, is a lot of, lot, of, lot of ceiling room. Yeah, Water Bear is crazy. I'm excited to see the, the patch notes after Worlds. I think they definitely nerf Water Bear after, after Worlds. Because Mewtwo's, I don't, they're not allowing, I don't think Mewtwo's allowed. Get that obviously with Kumfei only being able to attach to a singular ally there. Yeah. But I mean the self-sustain is there. Yeah, instead of so since uh, SAUL can't run slow bro, they're running Buzzwall and Trevenant to compensate, which is still huge. Biggest point in this matchup around that Rayquaza pit. It's gonna be very, very interesting, but of course we have our two. Dude, look, the entire team! Mobile gaming! I gotta we gotta do a mobile stream of Unite one of these days. I have to experience mobile unite. Yo, Ryan with the beard cut though? Yo, who did it? Who lined up his beard though? That looked clean. I felt like every single pick in that first game was a counter pick. Now that I look at game number two though, I'm loving the composition. Yeah, Luminosity is like some are mobile and some are actually playing on a. I mean, it's pretty much what was just thrown at them. They're throwing it back the other way. However, you have to. Huh? When you make these choices of Leafy. Jungle Cub Fuke. That you're opening yourself up for the composition that you're clearly familiar with. Yeah, I'd assume SAUL's jungle is going to be Leafeon. Is a great no, it's Sobble. Respect. Oh, that invade is huge, man! He's going to be Kung Fu for a minute! From SAUL. We're actually witnessing real gaming. Time that you buy. We saw it in the match before. We're seeing it again here. Does it matter if they got anything? Does it matter? If I wish I got that Buzzwall skin. That's what you're trying to I never finished that battle pass. I don't finish that 89 for it. Yeah, if you're running lane, Leafeon, Solar Blade is a move. But coordinated teams run Leafeon in lane. Yeah, I feel like it's not going to work that well in ranked, for sure. I mean, they play a different game than we do, guys. There's a 5v5 meta, and then there's a ranked meta, you know? They play a different game than we do. He's still a Shifu, though, okay. Oh, they trapped the Leafeon! Huge, push him back to get a stack weight, huge. He's gonna go invade their jungle, huge. Yeah, Solo Blade is probably gonna get nerfed. Solo Blade is really insane. You get hit with it and it does half your HP. It's probably gonna get nerfed. That worked. Intelligently backing up, I would say. That is intelligently loose. Let's not do that anymore. Look how, look how, dude, look how Overlord roams the entire map. He went from bot into their jungle all the way back at top to help the Lapras. That's real gaming, man. This is some real gaming. It is not leaving that player. And if it does, it happens to find a really nice home on a couple of very tanky Pokemon on the side of Luminosity right here as we head down for a possible fight here in this central area. Now, yeah, a comfy boost in her Shifu is insane. Because her Shifu is actually kind of tanky. To take away from each other. Alola Ninetales coming out here in game number two. We've just seen this Pokemon dominate all day. Literally, A9 is insane. A9 has actually been dominating all day. I catched some of the few games earlier. A9 is literally insane, dude. Here's my here's my question to you, Spraggles. Is LG doing enough with the advantage that they have right now to cause the pressure that they need? They're down on the scoreboard, and it kind of seems like there we go. Are just hanging out. I just made a full screen effort. Moving on here, looking for a KO on this Intellion, and they are oh, a little shed in Jadal, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. Very they killed the enemy jungler, huge. Unfortunately, no one was around to save them there. <laughs> no. 
Uh, unfortunately, I can't keep saving you from saying that word. It looks like we're going to get that a lot today as Slash is trying to get some time. One yeah, thing, Mean Look, again, you just run support Umbreon with a coordinated team, Mean Look Wish. Your teammates will act on it. These guys are coordinated, you know? Oh, Felsinger. Felsinger liquidation. Okay. We do have liquidation on this Inteleon here. I did just hear from production. It's technically not Inteleon Gen, which I thought it was, but I guess it's intelligent. So we'll see how that goes. This fight continues. Huh? Right oh, Curse. Curse Trevenant. Yeah, perfect. They're splitting to take both objectives. Perfect, dude. Inteleon got it, though. Well, that means Overlord isn't here, so uh, SAUL has an opportunity to push. They're going to get as many points as they can. Slash oh, Umbreon got Leaf Hand ulted tough. Here as the, uh, Slash quickly goes down. There's still four players in the face of... The Ninetales is really doing her best here. The Lapras is here! Lapras carried two people. That's huge! Wait, that was a huge Lapras ult. Oh, my God! She's carrying two people, dude. That's insane! The A9 defense is crazy. You just knock him out of tower. The party of S A U L here. And now Rin with the confidence to play into the uh, jungle of the, excuse me, the other side of the map of S A U L. Going to get themselves a buff and cruise away with it. As now S A U L is forced to scramble around their goal zones. Yeah, and here we go. Luminosity doing what they do best. Yeah, look at what Ashifu can do. <laughs> in this bottom path, trying to see what they can make happen as Overlord is able to head through the flux zone of SAUL and get out of this situation. Nice big KO in the top path as well for Luminosity. Yeah, it's huge KO. Here in game number two. Buzzwell's out of here. Tons of KOs into the hands of Curios, uh, especially after the Lapras crashed down to the bottom paths. Quickly, Rex is going to try to get their 17 points in. Slash buying time. We're going to see if they can trap Huge them. mean look. Incredible stuff here. Nice big avalanche blizzard. But you can see SAUL still. Yeah, tanky. It's going to be hard, tanky. Against the world champs. If you're just joining us right now, they've already taken one game off them here in this group stage earlier. Tube Snacks was saying intelligent, which is not correct. It's intelligent. Yeah, I actually did not say that. That was all you, Spraggles. Please stop misremembering and stop lying to our wonderful fans at home. And here we are heading up to this top path right now. We can see SAUL ready to possibly take this Reggie Alecky right here. Overlord oh, the liquidation is going crazy here. Look at look at the Buzz's HP. Oh, my God. Comfy ult huge. And they are able to pick up a KO on the Buzz wall. Put two back the other way. They finally sort out the Urge. Oh, wait. SA, SA's gaming. S8 is gaming. The Trevenant ult. The wood hammers are out, and the Leafion goes down. KO streak of two for Rin. Look at this here. There's three. Yo, Rin going crazy. He got three. The pair is song onto the Trevenant, looking for something as Slash starts this Reggie Alecky. Look at Lapras. I mean, still. Yeah, he's just stalling. That's what you do as a tank, right? He's just stalling. He's stalling so they can get the Alecky. There's three on Alecky here. Very close for the side of Luminosity. And right now, are they able to make it? Huge. W stall, W stall from Ryan. W stall. I keep mixing up Ryan, Ren, is it's Ren, but I can't, I can't. Yeah, they're trying to. It's about 30%. However, the Leafion is here and Curium's there for support. Instantly pivoting because you know Overlord wants the KOs. They want the numbers. They're going for the engage. Huge. Yeah, Overlord plays so aggressive. I love it. He stopped touching it to kill them. I love that. And the Ninetales is coming down as well, too. Unfortunately, that I just like playing Unite very aggressive. So watching other teams that play aggressive is always just amazing to watch. To get a steal away from that massive solar blade. However, great fight there from Luminosity as they are continuing to put the pressure on way ahead on the scoreboard and they are way ahead on experience as well. One thing I'm keeping note of is Snowy is level 13 and they've been incredibly silent this game, whereas in game one, they were incredibly active all over the map, getting in the face of the opposing team. So it clearly favors them to level up in this instance. SAUL is trying to insulate that Inteleon and let them take over in the last throws of the game. Nice little score here from SAUL if they're able to make huge it dunk. Bringing them up to 215. However, 50 dunk, that's massive, dude. Big KO as it looks like Leafion is actually going to make it out, but Inteleon is not. We also saw in the top path a moment ago, Dupes next, the focus ban taken away from All Might on that Buzzwall, so they are not going to have that moving into this Rayquaza. Fight. Oh, I didn't even notice that. No focus ban on the Buzzwall. LG. Luminosity needs this one, or SAUL is going to take out... Uh, in terms of levels, 
The levels aren't bad, but they have uh, Luminosity has a better level scale right now. They have two Mons level 14. And the A9 is 13. This is going to be huge, dude. SA is going to have to really turn up. Because again, alt throw, huge. Threw him in there. Oh, Buzzle ult, Tree ult. Cliff is out of the game. And tell their, their carry's out of the game. Jungler's dead. Nah, Rin's gaming on this Lapras. He's going crazy on this Lapras. This Lapras is going crazy, dude. Yeah, they are on the hunt, looking to pick up that Leafy and not able to make it happen right here. And we're going to have to have a refight from the side of SAUL. We saw a couple of Unite moves. Oh, my God. Here, but so far, Luminosity is cleaning up. Yeah, this is a much different look from the last stages of game one, of course, as they keep the pressure on... Guys, this is big because the pop prize for Unite is bigger than any other game at Pokemon. It's 500k. They've got an opportunity to score and they have to split the attention... It's massive. And it looks like it's working as SAUL is collapsing on top of this goal zone and getting KO'd simultaneously. Ninetales knocks them back so they can get back to pit. Reposition here. Urshifu can't get out, so they go back in to help him! Look at this teamwork! Oh my god, dude. Dude, Luminosity is gaming. Nah, they're gaming. They're gaming. Did they get the download activated? <laughs> they are gaming. They are literally gaming. That's that, that's perfect. They were all peeled back there. That was perfect, dude. They look so different from game one. It looks like they never lost. Yeah, no way they don't ban or Shifu. But they could also just ban Comfy. Jeez. They went 700 to 200 is crazy. Comfy, I think, will be a big ban. I mean, like, I know Comfy will just wrap around the Yoshifu, but the Comfy played great there. Every time the Yoshifu looks like he's in a pickle, he just Comfy ult. And Rin on the Lapras actually hard carried. It's kind of like the Overwatch thing, guys. Lapras is like an off tank. You know? And then main tanks are more like... Like Umbreon. Uh, Trevenant. Slowbro. You know? They need to crack those knuckles and buckle up. Obviously, go. that first match was just their warm up, and now they are really just their warm up. Why they were crowned the world champs last year? Just Obviously, their warm up is crazy. Dominant performance there. Who needs a Rayquaza? We don't need a Rayquaza here. We can just go get those back caps, and they just yeah, they played so good with the back caps there. It's too risky to burn the ray there. I mean, draft alone, I think, was the biggest thing. Is Zashin Emblem coming back in the Worlds here? Does anyone know? I never got it last year at Pokemon Worlds. Look at this! 93k, 102k! Dude, Overlord is always getting six-digit numbers. He's just insane. Overlord is just insane. Gameplay was looking really good in that game number two. Oh, definitely. I think Luminosity was one of the uh, teams I put. You also have Elo, the trusty comfy pocket by your side. Yeah, the comfy, the comfy got to get some love as well, too. Comfy is legitimately going insane. I think they definitely spread that out well. Oh, it's Platinum Zashin Emblem? Do you know the code? Does anyone know that? I already got the Mew one and a Mewtwo. Does anyone know the code for the Zashin one? I don't I don't think I have that one yet. I love the editing that they do. They on the bottom for the viewer, they pop it up. I love the editing. Lumi 2. I did I did TTV, Tally Bobo, and Luminosity. Oh, the code for Zashin is random. Okay. Thirty minutes with Twitch drops. But I'm watching on YouTube. Should I watch on Twitch? I'm watching on the actual Unite channel. Yeah, Overlord is literally one of the greatest players I've ever seen in my entire life. 
having that attack weight there, getting those stacks in early, but as you mentioned, going for that surging strikes move. Also, I don't have ads. That rapid strike instead. I feel like we have ads on Twitch. I got I have to watch it on Twitch. Yeah. And honestly, we don't talk too much about liquidation, uh, uh, that, but with the way Overlord plays it, I think it really is a highlight of that move. It shreds defenses on the enemies every time Overlord you hit defense. one of those. So, <laughs> number two, and instead going for something with a bit more consistent. I have to watch it on Twitch, guys. I need the drops. Blastoise in game number one and Lapras in game number two was a pretty big change. I really do think Lapras is one of the most impactful Pokemon that we are going to see. In I agree. I agree. Saying that, I'm really curious if SAUL is going to use that as their ban. Well, they're obviously going to Lapras have is so insane. I a thousand percent agree. Lapras is a game changing mon. Yo, Dream? Yeah, what did you just say? Oh! What are they gonna ban here? They're mass banning Lapras! Covering that Lapras, they know that SAUL does like to first pick it, and we're actually gonna have SAUL taking away the Hoopa. Huge. Despite Luminosity not picking this Pokemon as of yet, still. Uh, and I mean, SA is still Luminosity continuing to ban Hoopa. Still available, but SAUL not too afraid of that. Now, is this an Umbreon pick, or is SAUL gonna maybe go towards an Inteleon, which we've actually seen in this first pick? Yeah, Inteleon is really good. Nope, Inteleon is really good at even doing damage to tanks. Inteleon really is very good. Going for that Leafeon, but I guess having that early game being... <gasps> Let's go! Oh, I thought Overlord was going to lock the Dodrio. I would have been hype. I would have been hype, man. I would have been so hype. I love watching his Dodrio. Yeah, Inteleon is just so good, man. Inteleon is just so good. Easily one of the best mods in the game when it comes to shredding tanks. Easily. They are backed into a corner in this draft mode. If they don't pick Umbreon, you're giving over double defender to a team like Luminosity. Yeah, just they have to pick Umbreon. They have to. They have so to mean look and assess people out. They have to. The Clefable, which has been their support of choice for sure. Luminosity Gaming, though, I love Clef. That's one of my favorite supports in the game. Zacian. Is it comfy? They didn't ban comfy. No, it's not. They're going a super aggressive comp here. What is happening? We have another Zacian pick alongside a Blissey, so it's obviously going to be feeding those eggs. Yeah, that's going to be hell. Dude, Zacian ult with Blissey is going to be hell. Safeguard combination. Yeah. Oh, wow. A Blastoise selection into a Zacian is pretty terrifying, I think. Zacian, I would consider to be one of the best uh, tank shredders in the game. Yep. Pokemon you Agreed. Right now. Agreed. Uh, is gonna be Overlord on Agreed. So Pokemon don't even look tanky damage. against Zacian. Rin and Slash to be the ones to open up space. Not Yo! However, and they're probably going to be going up into a Surf Stoice. We've been talking a they lot They have a super aggressive comp. I love it, dude. Interesting matchups from either one. Okay, but they see the see the, they have EXP shot and Slowbro and EXP shot and Blissey, so it, it'll work out. However, I think we all know how strong the Sword Dog can be. Can Dude, be really, really strong, this is gonna be a fun game to watch. To see is yeah, the, it, it, it's Zacian. They're saying Zacian. You remember at BGC when they said Ferrothorn and Thunderous? It just, it, that's just how it works. Oh yeah, get Emblem Limited License. From these two I'm not teams. connected. First off, we've got Zashian from a Western team, something we haven't seen yet. And I really do feel like Rin could make, uh, you know, this Pokemon look amazing. And then we've got Overlord on what looks to be the Petal Dance Giga Drain version of Venusaur. We're going to have to see what happens when they bring it in the game. Yeah, <clears throat> which all leads me to believe that maybe the uh, Inteleon is going back to snipe shot, trying to play at a distance. I would, I would say so. I would think that it is here as we head into game number three. We can see I don't even know my trainer club account. Leafeon on the side of SAUL Esports. And I, I got to say, I'm a little confused by this one. I'm surprised this Pokemon is getting so much priority. Yeah, it almost seems like LG did uh, SAUL a favor by banning it in game one so they couldn't have picked it this early. Um, All right, I'm, I'm connected now. Leafeon is great, but it doesn't necessarily warrant a first pick, in my opinion, in the current map. Woof, already taking a big KO here, or should I say woof? I mean, that's that dog's got a sword in its mouth, and it picks up one already. Yeah, I mean, the K opener. All right, I'm connected now. We're good. Hands, of course, already taking over to level four, and now they're going to be able to just farm out this wild Pokemon. I'll tell you what, Snowy's got to look really good off this Leafeon if they want to try to contest with that Zacian. A little bit of a miss. All right, we're good. I'm connected. 
top path. They need to make sure that they Let's go. All that AO synergy I didn't see their jungler. Who's the jungler? Right now, which lets them Sashin's lane. Sword. It lets them use their passive there. As we head down to the bottom path right here, first Razor Leaf that we're seeing today. Yeah, Razor Leaf. Leaf yeah, I haven't logged in my training club in a minute. Prove us wrong as to why it's first pickable here. Going right into this thing, and they're going to try to seal up some experience. A lot of that went <sighs> well here. And uh, credit to Bash on the. Oh, it's Venusaur jungle. Huge. Yeah, you get Venusaur fast EXP. It's good. And I mean, basically, the laners are juggling too. They have EXP share. On the side of Luminosity, heading on over there was looking to make a score happen. It must be stacking on that Clefable so we can get some massive healing. Curios right now looking for a little sneaky play, a play that I love. Interesting. Into the enemy central area with Intellion. Mewtwo build, by the way. I like weakness. I play weakness, rapid, and scope. <sighs> That's what I prefer. With uh, uh, brown and white emblems. Unlike Sableye. That's right. Yeah, you were able to see this Pokemon a little bit of predator action almost. You can kind of see it moving around that jungle, and you have to do something about it. Well, Leafeon jumping on top of Blissey quickly. Elo peels out. Overlord still sitting in the middle. You said pedal, uh, pedal dance. Gig I love how they all rotate in the mid. I love it. Huge. Look at the pocket. She's staying far away from them. The Zacian's coming through. But the Nine Tails is clutching. A KO comes from it, but three back. Wait. Beautiful stuff there from Luminosity, right into the face of two Blizzard avalanches. Wait, the Nine Tails was going crazy there. Venusaur healthy, and at the same time, if you land your Giga Drain, you're reducing the amount of incoming damage. The Nine Tails went insane there. She was nuking their HP. Huge special attack damage from a low. All right, good night, Sir Blue Beezy, man. The fact that Overlord has just hit level nine and the Zashi can go farm up in the middle of the Yeah, they exchange now. I like that. That's good team play. He hits nine fast and then the Zashi can go farm then. On that Blastoise, they are playing the rapid spin build right there. It's what I expected when I saw those special attack specs that they were going to be looking to do some damage with their blast. I didn't see the blast build, but yeah, he's running stacking with rapid spin. It's huge. Yeah, A9 is crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Huge Venusaur ult. Look at the A9 just shutting it down. A9, man. It's so hard to get in on that Mon. Shut it down. Oh, huge boost of Sacred. Agility runs out of the Ninetales ult. Massive. But Inteleon's ulting here, too. Ninetales is playing phenomenal. She's knocking all of them away from the range, dude. Dude, the Ninetales is playing so good. Look, they can't even get on the cliff there. The cliff can get out. Nah, the Ninetales is clutching, dude. Oh, this is, yeah, a struggle. There's still a war turtle in the game. Clef got the Anteleon Slowbro all to the Leafeon. Okay, he's Blastoise now. He's Blastoise now. Obviously, after that goal zone goes down, Luminosity able to take this top path, push that Reggie Alecki down, and look at this map. Right look at the editing. Like the Alecki right here. Yellow lights all over the place. That pops up right there. That's such fire editing. But you get what I mean. All over the map, there's a ton of experience to pick up. Historically, Christmas known for its yellow patterning. There you go. Leafy Allen a huge Snowy pick there. Snowy gets one KO on Curios, and now they're kind of caught out. Leafy Allen's trying to get out of here. Blissey, he got him. He tried to get out. Venusaur was shut down again, man. Zashin aggroed at the A9. That was smart. A9 was really stopping them there. Huge overdunk. Huge overdunk, man. Hopefully, guys, we can start getting the bands on ranked. That'd be awesome. What? Come on. Since when? It's yellow lights, guys. 
I'm sorry, but sometimes our production team is trolling me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on the scoreboard, winning some big fights, and I got to say, I really wondered what that Zashin was going to look like from Rin, and it is a thing of beauty so far. Yeah, you already level 12, biggest thing on the map, and it's been a long time since we've seen Rin outpace Overlord in terms of level. They actually it's true, yeah. On this team and be more of like the attack. Those guys are literally like some Naruto Sasuke type beat. They are crazy. Invading the Leafeon is it crazy. He tried, he tried. Blastoise comes in, huge kill in the Blastoise. Gets a level off that man. Massive catch up for the Blastoise. He needed that. Taking their time, making sure that they can get all the experience they need. Level 13, a massive break point for Venusaur and Blastoise. Both of them get a huge power spike, and both of them are looking forward as we see a Unite move coming out here from Overlord. Stuck right there in the mean look. Are they going to be able to get out of here? Oh, he tried to get the A9. The A9 is clutching. Look at her, dude. Look at her. Oh, my God. Oh, Luminosity is getting the KOs now. Yeah, they're good. They're good. The reformatting, they're good. They're good. Dude, she, she she just man. In this match, potentially in my book, because yeah, he still lives. Blissy pocket plus the Giga Drain still lives huge. I really want to play Venusaur after watching this. Venusaur is so much fun. Easy top five most fun mods in a game. Which is a huge moment. Nice snipe shot, but no. A low and nine tails. I swear the MVP of this tournament so far. I don't, dude, I'm literally right saying this nine tails is going crazy, bro. Massive snipe. Reggie Alecki, and it puts him in a position to possibly take a fight here in the bottom half. Yeah, really a great Yeah, they can take a they get take a early uh, late fight here, I should say. Before Ray. Huge. SAUL, despite knowing that there's multiple players dealing with the Reggie Alecki, not willing to commit to the basement Reggie, setting up for that big right fight. Yeah, I think they don't want to feed this Venusaur any more experience. Yeah, he's 13, the Zacian's 14. The Blast was hit 13! Wait, it's winnable. I like how they show you the right side of the teams in the lead for the viewer. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. Dude, he has plus rapid spin now. That's huge. They have two low 14s. It's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough, man. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, man. The Leafeon is just... That was troll. I don't know what the Leafeon was doing there, man. Oh, bless the ult, it's slow, bro, into the Venusaur ult. Oh, it's cooked, it's cooked, it's done, 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 the Blastoise, he has ult still, and Slash is buying all the time in the world. Finally, SAUL cracks the code. They get into the middle. They're going for the engagement. Moonlight. Oh! Down, of huge Blastoise ult! He just can't kill the Venusaur, man. The Venusaur is not dying, bro. He mean look this. He mean look this, Ashin. If SA steals this, it's going to be massive, dude. Oh! It's done. It's done. It's over. It's over. This Venusaur ate every move in the game. Dude, Blissey pocketed Venusaur is scary, bro. He ate every move in the game. Look at that side, man. NT boys. NT boys. NT boys. I was close. NT boys. Genuine NT men. Luminosity just destroyed them in the pit. I think the Leafeon was insane for that back cap. The Leafeon was insane for that back cap. Oh, man. Dude, Venusaur with a good... Oh, that was crazy. That was just crazy. 
course you want the win right there. Yeah, maybe that round one was a warm up. Yeah, I'll be streaming this tomorrow as well too, Bolting. Thank you for coming on, man. Appreciate you, bro. Amazing secure. I believe it was Slash that was able to get the final hit there on that Rayquaza. But wow, cutting it close, Luminosity. Who is Slash? Close indeed. And I'll be honest, if Elo wasn't. Oh, does Ash? Wait, no. Who is Slash? Is that one of their teammates' names? That overlord exchange that we were talking about that we want that they want because I'm sitting here like what age is slash that was breaking point number one. Oh, it's uh, the slow bro. Sorry, I meant notice back where that slash the slow bro. Okay, look at him at 101k. Look at the blissy dude. Overlord is crazy. We definitely do still stand team India, man. They played phenomenal. I mean, getting a W off luminosity is insane, dude. I mean, a heartbreaker of a finish for this team. Let's take a look at some of these big moments right here. Big moments indeed. Kicking it off here. We had a nice little KO on top Crazy. of... Uh, I gotta give respect to their A9. Their A9 went insane. The moment that just pivoted, and this is the Overlord really leveling up here. This would allow them to get. Their A9 went insane, dude. Early before the first objective. Yeah, that Venus took so much damage, and he just didn't die. He just didn't die. So they actually had a lot of opportunities to take down Overlord in some of these big fights. We see later. Dude, Venusaur is crazy. They throw everything. See, Solar Beam is good too. That's why I like Venusaur. Every build is good, but I like the Pedal Dance build more. I do. I do. Yeah, Overlord is crazy, man. Huge moments from SAUL. As we'll see here in a second, they peel off and make a big score, put themselves ahead at Rayquaza. Yeah, absolutely. What I thought was going to be an in scenario, we were going for the score, Snowy gets caught, but actually the Zacian gets KO'd because All Might was peeling up for the support there. And that brings us to this on the brink scenario that we're talking about. This turns into an absolute cluster, Spraggles. Yeah, amazing stuff right here. Obviously, there are more members of Luminosity there. It's a weighted flip, if you will. But at the same time, I mean, that's just such a stressful moment for the squad. The he went crazy. This is a beautiful build. Yeah, he has full heal, so he doesn't get CC'd. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Look at it. This is exactly what I play. Uh, Slick Spoon, I believe, for the Rapid Fire oh, Scarf yep. and the Focus. This is exactly what I play. Obviously, more of what you see when you're in the middle of those fights and you're brawling so intensely like Overlord loves to do. Well, uh, Overlord may have been on the graphic, but I give it to Elo. Let's get a Group G update here as we take a look where we're at. SAUL. NA is up. Here, O2. Time to shine 1 0. That's yeah, Overlord. And that is LG's first step to trying to take down this. Overlord is just one of the greatest United players ever. Incredible stuff here. Luminosity is going to go up against Time to Shine, and that is going to decide who is going to move forward in this group. We've got an interview ready on stage right now. The GOAT! And Overlord, let's send it on over to him. This kid's nasty, dude. He's so good at this game. Multiple times as well, but obviously Overlord being back on the world stage. How does that feel to be here for the second time? Oh yeah, yeah. It feels great to be back. Uh, I could definitely tell we got a little bit of nerves, you know, from last year, but. Uh, yeah, I mean this uh, venue is bigger la uh, than last year, and it's also in Japan. I think I'll be right back. Hometown. Last year. You know, hometown. Hopefully, uh, winning again grand final, so. Yes, definitely just a warm up, right? But I need to know. Obviously, there are a lot Dude, more I thought the commentators were talking trash when they said warm up when Team India won. Nah, bro, it really was warm up. Wait to, to verse. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty excited to play against some of the EU teams like Noun and Tally Bobo. Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to be watching those games. The Noun and Tally Bobo games? Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. We will uh, be there. Regarded as one of the favorites to win this whole thing. So yeah, Tally Bobo's nuts. Be, uh, really good to play them in the grand finals and hopefully take them down. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you so much, Overlord. We Tally Bobo won last year, right, guys? That you I watched that last year. To shine as well, but we are going to throw it to a quick break. So sit tight. And we'll bring B back soon. Did I get my Zashian? I'm 63% of 30 minutes close. Okay.
It was Luminosity one last year. Okay, what am I talking about? It's all about it. I gotta send Super this email. Hold up, I gotta send Super this email, bro. Uh, uh, uh. Hold up, I gotta send his ass this email, bro. That was fire. I mean, dude, I genuinely, I genuinely love this game. Oh, they're showing me too. <laughs> I genuinely love the game. I do. So that was fire as shit, man. It was so fire, bro. Yeah, teammates losing at pit will make you cry. I lost at pit in that zero aura fight when I was playing zero aura, but we clutched up. Guys, the Pokemon esports scene is getting a lot bigger. I have to get involved somewhere or another. I, I'm so hungry, bro. I'm hungry, bro. I'm hungry. <laughs> let, hey, let me let, let me go ahead and bring my Zoric and uh, let me go ahead and bring my Zoric and Lucario to Worlds. Let me go ahead and do that. I would probably say Zoric, Lucario, and Leafeon are probably my three strongest mons in the game. Slowbro's up there too, Cram's up there, Blastoise, Inteleon Lapras, Urshifu. Like, I, if I were to say, like, all my best mods, like, ever, definitely, like, just some of those, for sure. King Gambit survived the suspect test and it's staying in OU. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's crazy. I think what they're going to do then is make you reveal the Terra. I don't think, I think if they make you reveal the Terra, you don't need to ban King Gambit, right? If you know which Terra King Gambit is, you don't need to ban it. He has the, he has the element of surprise for sure, you know? Let me be your manager. I right, bet. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I my Leafeon is really good. I just don't play Leafeon like that on stream because everyone plays Leafeon now. So I'm like, I, I'm quirky, you know, I got to be quirky. I got to be quirky. They play phone or switch. It depends. They do both. It really just comes down to what you prefer, right? They have stations for both of them. You know, Overwatch League, dude, free. Overwatch League is done. Thank God. Snooze fest, Overwatch League. Overwatch League was such a snooze fest. Why would you watch Overwatch League when you can just watch VCT Valorant? Gotcha, thanks anytime, man. Yeah, it really just comes out of what you prefer. I also do a lot of trolling on ranked. I would never do that much trolling when I if it was a serious game, right? Like, I, I sometimes I either just run it down or like, you know? Yeah, I think Lucario is still my best mod in the game. I make that mod look like he's still the best in the game. Like not even close. But I need a good team of Lucario. I can't just solo Lucario, you know? Better been watching all the... V yeah, VCT clears. Not even close. VCT hard clears. VCT hard clears. Who's the next game? Do we know? Is it time to shine versus Luminosity or do they already face each other? Uh, Group G, Luminosity versus time to shine. Oh, they're next. Entity versus Kumu. Oyasumi Makuro. Team Ho. Oh, Secret Ship. Gotta watch that. Gotta watch Secret Ship. Gotta do that, bro. I'm hype, bro. I'm hype. I'm hype, bro. Hype for real, for real. Hype off that for real, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I just like watching good games. Like good gaming, you know, it's just fun. 
Overwatch as a game is not viewer friendly. I agree. Too much happens. Oh, last year is. I loved watching last year. Last year was so much fun to watch. Serena Gaming. I loved this so much last year. I miss Serena so much, man. I really do. Dude, also, like, imagine bringing home a world uh, trophy. If you bring a world trophy home from Pokemon, oh, that's such a god tier feeling. I have to compete next year. Because we are going to be watching a match that will be deciding this group between time to shine and Luke How did Wolfie do? When he going pro? I was supposed to go pro with Pokemon, but they shut that game down. Hello, Saurus. Hello, Kello. How you doing? Hello, Spraggles. It is good to be here beside you. Yo, Wolfie's going through it. He tweeted Lost Round 1, then tweeted Lost Round 2. It's looking rough. Luminosity. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait to see this match i know it's going to be incredible interesting story the teams behind us really are this small they are not far away we shrink them down so that they can compete he funny spraggles is funny he funny of course it is but that's what we do here he funny bro yo his tux looking tough now, obviously both these teams his tux is looking tough dude well earlier but i have to say luminosity kind of coming through that by the skin of their teeth it's pretty wild that they're going to be running into time dude look at the cute little pikachu the little ramen noodle dude i need that look anything i need that these teams they're just warming up right luminosity they've only had their first set it just depends yeah it's a nerves they were warming up for sure luminosity is flawless time to shine flawless this is going to be some good gaming luminati first time to shine two teams that have lost jealous in a suit yeah his suit is tough it's tough. SAUL looked so incredible here. They did. They looked good. A heartbreaker for India because they tough matchup. An amazing team, but of course they are going up against two titans right there, Luminosity and Time, time to, to Shine. shine. Taking a look at Time to Shine right here, coming out of the gate, getting a big win to start. <laughs> what is it? Look at this pose that Ren is doing, man. What? <laughs> series here, but they've always been that team that just can't seem to crawl past that fourth place inside of their group, and of course. EU is a stacked region. Yeah, EU's crazy at this game. I'm not even kidding. Europe is disgusting at this game. Playing Among Us again? I'd have to set it up, bro. I must say, I have a bit of a soft spot here for time to shine, but let's focus on luminosity. Obviously, we just... Bro, like, look, everyone got this pose, and then what is Rin doing? What the... <laughs> the hell? Just to jog your memories. Yeah, of course. Luminosity we do stand, Katie. We definitely do stand. We definitely do stand. They are back. They Love the representation. To repeat this thing, it would be a massive accomplishment for them to somehow. I'm so close on getting the Zashian code. This whole thing again, cementing them as the best team in Pokemon Unite once again. But they have to get. Oh, mass banning right turn one Lapras. Round one Lapras. Mass banning. You could say time to shine is that Snorlax block. Espeon ban is interesting. Oh, no, she didn't lock in. She didn't lock in. <laughs> They're all going to ban Blissey. Okay. He funny. He trying to pick Dragonite last. He funny. No Blissey. Yeah, they saw Dude, Street saw that game. That, their Blissey was going ham. Very, very targeted ban right here as Luminosity is banning out this Lapras. Lapras has just been insane. Yeah, Lapras is a literal... That's a top five mon. That's a top five mon. Lapras is a top five mon. Overlord and the Dodrio? Are we gaming? Double defender locked in. Both the EXP share. Is sort of, well, I, wouldn't say I love the full support builds here. Focus ban so they can live on one HP. EXP share, right love that. Buddy Bear and the slow bro, love that. A supporter, Clefable, and possibly the big tree. Oh, it is the Trevin is locked in. Nice and tall against these other two defenders. Otherwise, we oh Lord is whipping out the Venusaur again. Let's go. Obviously, kicking up that pedal dance. I thought it was going. Yo, running the Blastoise triple defender. You see, Overlord, he's not a guy who just needs to follow the trends. Oh, everyone's playing Venusaur. So <laughs> I am literally the exact same like Overlord. I, I, dude, I, 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 I don't play trendy. I don't, I don't, I don't play the trends all the time. 
to the beam of build here in this match. Yeah, it could actually be Solar Beam. Seeing this cop, it could be Solar Beam. First one we've seen on broadcast today, but not the first. And they have triple attacker. It has looked pretty good all day. Okay, smart. They're locking in Mew. Dude, three defenders is nuts. They said F a support. What do you think about this? Three defenders, no supporters? Dude. Yep, three of them right there. That is going to be a huge front line. Nah, their comp looks so tanky, bro. Guard's going to drop 100k damage. No support is ballsy, dude. Moving on to our top eight tomorrow. We're going to send this thing over to the incredible Zoinks and Wonder Chef to cast this game. My go, Zoinks. Let's go, my boy. So proud of him that he's commentating world. So proud of him, man. So proud of him. Game number one of Wonder Chef. And may I remind everyone that whoever wins this game is headed into tomorrow's top eight bracket. Who you guys? I got my money on Luminosity. I got my money on Luminosity. Slow folks. I'm so jealous. I wish I could be there. Yeah, that's my boy. I met I met up with him last month. I met up with him last month. He's my boy. He's, he's, he's mad cool. Guys, I got the Zashian code. By the way, they were in the Poké Center. I'm so excited for this. I think this draft was also really interesting one to start off. We got a three special attacker comp versus a triple defender comp. Yeah, it really seems like Time to Shine is leading into that front to back strategy. They see that gigantic. Let me put it on and not do it on stream. They are instead going to be trying to just deal that damage from the front line slowly but surely and cut through those huge HP bars. All right, well, here we go. Time to shine on the left. Luminosity on the right. Game number one. Off oh, my switch is off. Oops. Who makes it to the finals bracket on day number two, Overlord? I'm not giving y'all my code. Y'all funny as hell, man. With the Bulbasaur. And now I actually didn't get a chance to see what Bulba jungle on Overlord again. Who's jungling? Uh, Ralts is jungling on... Uh, Set, or yeah. if we might see a switch over to Beamasaur, I'm sure there's a level of ability playing both. I think at this strategy you can't play Beamasaur, especially yeah. when you're only yeah you can't. Umbreon with Wish. If that's your only they have to go pedal dance so he can recover himself here. You literally have to. Of course, rushing into the backline won't be an easy task. However, if you get in there, that Venusaur is going to have a big impact. Level five Overlord coming up for this first round of Altaria Swell Blues. I wonder when they're going to release the Celebi emblem, guys. That's right. Celebi emblem is not out yet. A little bit of a uh, of a rotation down actually. Uh, kind of going uh, all right, let's put this in right now. You guys can't see this, right? Let's see if they're actually ready for that. We are nope, splitting we're good. both the center area Pokemon going to different paths, and they are going to be trying to confirm that. Oh yeah, there was a little bit of the XP gained on the side of Time to Shine. We saw the evolution, but oh no, not able to escape the triple stack down here. And yeah, look at this, just trying to get the berry, trying to stay up, uh, and that was that was. That was honestly a cool little maneuver. Yeah, very, very solid play there from Luminosity Gaming, showing in one path and then rotating to the other. And of course, I think the most important effect of that is Gekko Kami is not at level five. Stuck on that level four, a very important spot right there. Oh, trying to get the pick here on the Espeon. It looked like that was going to be it. That was actually a really smart choice to not overcommit right there. That would have been a very easy turnaround. But in the end, they might be able to escape. Ren with the great manual dodge there on the side strike. But oh no, that was actually a pretty... I'm sorry. Side strike, but uh, that was a really scary Got situation. it. <laughs> both sides. It seemed like both were about to get one Pokemon pick, but you can tell just how uh, good these teams are at being able to know exactly their limits without overextending. Got it. In this competition, right? Again, the support play is just not going to be there. You are going all in on this defender tanky strategy, and healing just doesn't exist. So mm -hmm. if you go too far, then Time to Shine is just going to bounce back and win a team fight in the other direction. Of course, they can rely on where's Incredible healing play with All right, we're good. To outlast some of these okay, I didn't see. Let's let's let me dial in now. Let me dial in. Just little bits of damage here and there. There have been a really it is, surprising. it is beam. Yeah, wow. It is beam. So, again, showing that level of flexibility that we know from over. Is that Giga Drain? Flex different Pokemon, but being able to flex different builds. With is it Giga Drain? So, uh, I mean, hey, you got to expect something like that from what is considered maybe the best player in the world, or at least up there. Yeah, absolutely. Easily, he's up there. I would say, I'd say he's easily a top ten player. A little bit. Yes. Playing this Umbreon, 
in this wish build that we haven't seen too much on broadcast as of yet. Yeah, I think the blaster is probably going to be DPS then, no? About the damage reduction that you have on basically a five second cooldown. Time to shine with some early presence, getting a defensive area around this Reggie Rock with only Slash here to provide vision on the objective. Oh no, there's a chance for a steal here, but they're not. Oh, didn't get the steal. Engage on the side of Luminosity. It looks like, again, neither team taking the advantage there to try and start a fight. This has been such a safe game. They are just fighting for all of that neutral EXP. Nobody overextending. I feel like this is one of the lowest KO games this yeah. far into the game that we've seen all day. We're watching an LG game. We're watching an <laughs> LG game, and this is what we are looking at so far. Kind of crazy. Overlord has hit nine, though, so the experience race definitely looking pretty good for them. Where is pushed back by that foul play. However, they are able to escape it. Curious with a big engage. Out going to go down to the Electro Ball, and finally, LG is on the KO board. All right, at least there. I mean, I think they did get at least that one earlier where they... Huge Vina ult. They got the Inteleon. Inteleon's half. Oh, the button beam. That button beam was hard. That button beam was so hard, dude. You are in trouble here. The range damage can be significant. I mean, this is just damage versus uh, such a tanky team. So honestly, even if they don't do that much damage, they're doing a lot of damage based on the time to shine calm. Yeah, absolutely. The Espeon is just shredding damage here. Kill slow, bro. Oh, but she's slow. Dude, she's solar beamed. Wait, beam sword is going wild. Yo, the beam star is going crazy. I've never tried Giga Dream Be Solar Beam. Do I got that dog on me to try that? Oh, the stun on the Venusaur? He was stunned for nine years. He was stunned for nine years. Dude, I love that Battle Pass game from Blastoise. It's easy, one of the best ones. Not the best, but it's easy a top five Battle Pass skin. Oh, he's playing Serve. He's not playing Rabbit's Man, okay. Probably knock him away from the Venusaur, yeah? Oh yeah, they get this, they get this, they get this. Yeah, I think so too. That's why, that's why Luminosity is scoring so much. Score is going to be important here. Yo! Dude, his aim is crazy with it too. I love the Venusaur gaming. I love it. I wish I had that Venusaur skin. I don't have it. A fair battle pass skin? It's easy, Zork. Zork or Absol? Zork, Absol, or Cinder is just, just, I, season one, year one is just so good, dude. I hope that the next one is um I don't know who the next one will be hopefully it's Inteleon but I doubt it it's probably going to be Mewtwo I don't want it to be Mewtwo but it'll probably be Mewtwo maybe like an Umbreon one Umbreon want to go hard Umbreon I feel like deserves it Bro, oh, I didn't even think about it. Maybe Lapras or A9. I didn't even think about it. Hoping Serena. And they just buffer. Or it could just be Glaceon, another evolution. You know? The Zoracorn is fire. I finished it literally day one. I didn't buy it. I just played that much. I regret not finishing the Buzzwall one and the Gardevoir one. Gardevoir one is the shortest one in the game. If I got the Gardevoir one, I'd play more Gardevoir. Huge. Huge knockout before Ray. Huge knockout before Ray. Huge. And they got the... Wait, this is gaming. This is gaming. 
This is gaming. Wait, yeah, this Italian is so fed. 14? Okay, but they have three tanks. They can actually deal with it, though. Spot not going to be fully taken down. In fact, moving forward again, a little bit of a risky choice. We've got two members as well of Luminosity up in these top tall grass. As long as you don't go into that corridor, it's great positioning. As soon as you're there, you're being subject to a Trevenant or maybe even a Gardevoir United. Oh, they're trying to get the slow bro out. Oh my god. Yo, they played that so perfectly off the Woodhammer. Oh, buttons and gets the Inteleon too. Oh my god. They're combined alts! Wait, they're gaming! Oh my god! Dude, he sniped two of them, and the ult got the third one! And Tullian is still alive, so they can't just shred it. I mean, time to shine. Maybe can try to get back in, try to get the ray for this comeback. It's not looking super great. However, the score didn't actually increase. Oh, delete the slow bro here. Huge. Winnable. Yeah, slash does go down there, and they had their unite move as well. So no slow. Oh, Umbreon's pushing them back here. Umbreon's playing for time. He's playing for time. So smart. Oh, Mew with the ult. Oh, the Mew is gaming. Nah, man. Luminosity has shut them down, dude. Every time they tried to pick somebody out, that's big. I don't think that's going to matter. Wait, I don't. Does that matter? Does that 100 matter? Let's see it. I don't think it does. But in the end, it is going to be Luminosity Gaming holding on to their lead. Didn't matter. Wow. Didn't matter. Just Commentator just told us. Didn't matter. Dude, I'm, I'm okay. Dude, Time to Shine played great there. But every time they try to pick out the Slowbro, they got Slowbro. They try to pick out the Venusaur, runs away. They try to pick out the Mew, ults out. They try to move in to try and get into the pit. The Umbreon pushes them back, ults them, and keeps them at bay. That was phenomenal gaming. Oh, it was close though. Two oh three. I mean, incredible stuff here. Obviously, time. That was close. Behind a lot of that game, this looked like text. Yep, I just got my Zacian emblem. Very, very close. Oh, very, very close. That was very close game. NT. Very nice try. NT man. Is incredible, but obviously luminosity. They held their ground. They were able to win that match. NT. Looking really, really solid there. Obviously, we saw some incredible moments in the end there. NT man. Venusaur. Obviously, Overlord can really. Yo, 130. Take a look at some of our damage numbers. Dude, even look at the the 79k Mew. Oh my God. Brother Mew was gaming, dude. I saw it. The agility, the agility Electro Ball, man. The agility Electro Ball was crazy there. I saw the vision on the Mew. Solid support from the Umbreon and the Slowbro, man. I mean, look at the 51k healing. Surf Bro with the 37k CC chaining. It was massive, dude. Between these two teams again. Time to shine, Luminosity. Luminosity, if they win one more of these, they are going to move forward to our top eight tomorrow. Obviously, a lot of teams would expect Luminosity to make it to the top eight. Time to shine, still looking pretty good here in game number one, and they could shut them down. Look, it's all That's crazy time. gaming. Able to shine, right? They still have a chance to make a comeback, and we've seen a fair few round three situations. So whether they're going to be able to flip it around, and we might end up getting another round three. That was crazy. Obviously, see. Is it going to go to round three though? Being able to yeah, I think it goes to game three. Those objectives for that match. Crystal, what's up? up? Yeah, that was close. 113 ks overlord. That's Wolverlord. Oh, it was Scald, bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I see now. Yeah, I see. I see. I was focused on Azashin, but I'm sorry. It was, it was Scald, bro. And yeah, just huge moments here. Skull the Amnesia or Skull Telekinesis? Massive moment here from I think as well, too. I think, again, good tank play. They're throwing everything. Like, right there, right there they threw every cooldown into the slow bro. So they could just move in after that. You know, look at it. Again, they throw every cooldown into there. Look at the beam. 
The Mew was great here. Look at that. The Mew was so good there, dude. The Mew was actually so huge there, man. I'm glad. Put respect on his name, man. He was going crazy, bro. Curios, he went crazy, dude. It was spectacular, but obviously having those double specs, you got to be able to see. Overlord is out. Uh, yeah, anytime Overlord plays somebody, he makes one of the best mod ever. He always does 100k on any mod of the game. He'll find a way to do 100, 100k damage on really tough. I swear to God. Yeah, he was massive and be huge. More you think with a fire, bro? The fact that we all play this game competitively is the saddest thing ever. Yo, what's good with you, man? Yo, what's good with you, man? How you know that? You Weiss not watching right now, bro. How you know that? Oh, she's got the Chansey plush. Okay. Yeah. Everything comes down to this for Time to Shine. They need to win two in a row against Luminosity. The current world... Yeah, they just banned Lapras here again. Who does... Uh, TTS is banning Lapras, so they can't ban Lapras. So they're going to ban Slow, bro. Huge, huge bans from both sides. Huge. Look, this makes sense. Ban those defenders, Slowbro and Lapras, and I predict possibly Umbreon being picked up, but no carry. Mama Swine? Nah. Nah. This is such an incredible Pokemon that we have seen shine today. Yeah, I'm fine. Love you, bro. Nah. Not me being the exception. Oh, Ox pulling out the Leafeon. This is huge. Let's see who Overlord plays. Venusaur again? Dragonite? Rin's gonna be on there. Is Shifu here? Who's, uh, I wanna see who Overlord's gonna play. Let's see. Oh, they got the Comfy! Look, we are in the house of pro players here. Spraggles, all right. Yes, we might miss miss some shots, but I Hey, they're in the house of pro players. Wait till I pull up. Wait till I pull up. You pulled the $160 Charizard EX today? Yeah, Thomas, huge. I don't know if you're integrating, Thomas, but that's so worth getting that graded, bro. That's huge pull, man. For the same time, you hit liquidation every single time, no matter what. So Yo, over on the Dodrio. Tap in. Tap in, boys. Tap in. This is going to be some prime gaming. This is gonna be some prime gaming, dude. Absolutely. It's gonna be prime gaming. Yeah, this is a really good draft here. It looks like from Luminosity. I was not calling on Nexus. Can y'all chill? <laughs> okay, look, buddy. I hear you. I hear you. But majority of the people here play Unite, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you went zero to hundred on hater mode there, bro. This feels like a almost classic luminosity set. It does, it does, it does. Except with our Shifu and Intelli on it, and Kampei, it does. So only two months. But yeah, it's going to be great gaming. This is going to be great gaming. As MV says, as my boy MV says, there's three birds on the screen right now. Dodrio. Inteleon. And Kampei. Take it up, take it up, Envy. Take it up, Envy. As far as their feeling, you know, like how their how their just comfort is going to take them far in this one. But on the other side, it is a very interesting comp uh, coming out of Time to Shine. Yeah. It's definitely very different than what they've been playing. Not only just different Pokemon, but some different roles, uh, kind of splitting around as well. Now, my big question is: Are we going to see the mean look from the Umbreon to maybe try and counter a little bit of that Dream mobility, or yeah. is it going to be uh, changing? I mean, no, it's going to run mean look. It has to. Right? I mean, foul play will still disrupt the passive. I love Dodrio. That's one of my favorite mods in the entire game. Point me in his direction. I don't know where he's at. He's probably working. Yeah, they have two late scale mods, yeah. Yeah, 
strong as you can get. And then, uh, then yeah, then everything changes from there. So these are going to be some very different phases of this game overall, I would say. Currently, nothing super big. It looks like we're just trying to get some stacks in. That's going to be very effective. Double stacks, potentially, in this path right now as we're going to see this Squirtle really get bullied. You know, not really yeah. be able to defend all that much against this Onslaught. And the ability to just so freely farm stacks here for Luminosity, I think that's also very much in their favor. Oh, he's going try attack Dude, this is super nostalgic. We've only hit that 8:45 minute mark. We already are scaling so so well. Bottom pass. Try attack is huge, man. No drop at gaming. Try attack gaming. However, Overlord Reason is going to try to join this team fight. Keep the move. Oh, it is mean. Look, it's cooked. Umbreon is like the biggest counter to like cool mons, I swear. Like things like Zorak and Dodrio, man. That was an excellent check, but not gonna be able to fully chase down, I don't believe. But I mean, I well, I mean not. Oh, sorry, not going he's going for it. He doesn't get out. He doesn't get out. He doesn't get out. He doesn't get out. He just has to he has to pull him out of the fight there. There's nothing else he can do. Large amount of time. He has to pull him out of the fight there. There's literally nothing else he can do. Yeah, which evolution you guys think is next? I think they're gonna announce three evolutions. The last three. There's only three left. Dude, I might play tri attack. I haven't played tri attack in a minute. They've never buffed it, right? I used to play tri attack so much. I will well, leave you on the speedster. Jolteon would definitely be a speedster. Oh my god, he's gaming! Look at the Dojo movement! Oh! Dude, dude. I need to queue up Dojo right now, bro. Dude. Dude, he's gaming. Dude, he is gaming. He's level 10. He's level 10. Three minutes in, he's level 10, bro. Three minutes in, he's level 10, bro. The kid's crazy, man. Uh, technically, Umbreon, yes. Umbreon would be our first support evolution, yes. But if you mean, like, the actual role support, Umbreon is a hybrid. He is a support and a defender. He's a hybrid. Yeah, he's got try attack. He, I feel like he needed to run try attack against Umbreon there because if he gets mean look, he can't drill pack them, right? But he can still try attack them. Yeah, great play there from Luminosity Gaming. They have now broken two goal zones. Curious is the one caught in the mean look, but with that, you dude, it doesn't even matter. Curious is still cooking, bro. Nah, man. Luminosity is literally gaming, bro. They are hard gaming, bro. Look at this. The game is not over, but they are stomping, dude. Stomping. Yeah, Swampert, I would literally cry for. Because Sceptile and Blaziken are probably going to... Blaziken's coming. Sceptile's definitely going to come to this game because he's in Pokken. But Swampert... I, I tell you, I, if I see a baby mud, I'm losing my mind. Losing my mind. I 100% will main them. Oh, I didn't say what my best, Azumarill's one of my best mods. I'm nasty on Azumarill. We're cheering for Luminosity. It should add Kellogg Shutter to make the game fun. I wouldn't even be surprised if they do. Like a fusion type thing? Yo, what if they add Kyurem? And like, it's like Urshifu, so like, it's like one of the, like, but like, it's like Mewtwo, but you can choose which form you want to go into. Versus Mewtwo, the Megas are specific, right? It just sounds broken, let me not give ideas. Yeah, Azu got one of the best, I love Azu. That's my baby. Yo, look at Overlord! And then Rin with the three! I, I did. I think it says Overlord literally plays all the mods I play. 
And he plays them saucy and good, man. It's so fire. Yes, I'm glazing. It's so fire, bro. Look, dude. Smart, smart. Yeah, yeah, gravity would have literally shut him down. Smart that he jump kicked out. Smart. Depends on the day I would have jump kicked in. Depends on the day. Tuesday, I jump kick in. Thursday, I jump kick out. Look at the try attack kiting as well, too. Yeah, you got to pick up the leafy on here. Oh, they surfed him away and white smoked. They're trying to shut him down. They're trying to shut him down. They can't shut him down, dude. Look at him move. Bro. Bro. <laughs> it's over, man. Dude, time to shine has to flip on Ray. They just have to flip on Ray, dude. It literally comes down to Ray. They are dominating, dude. Oh, yeah, it's Friday now, true. And like we said before, if Luminosity wins this game, they are going to be advancing to tomorrow's top eight bracket. Uh, they just got every single Pokemon that they wanted. This Regilecki is going to go in the favor of Time to Shine, but that's going to... Time to Shine, got it. That's actually big for them. They they need the dunks. That's big for them. Yeah, Trevin just stalls. He stalls or gets out. Yep. They didn't get that much of an overdunk. 20 and 16. It's all going to come down to plus a 20 from Alecky. It wasn't much. No other option for time to shine. That was about 56 total. They didn't get that much. And it's more than just an objective secure, right? They didn't get that much off it, unfortunately. Dude, Overload's already 15, man. Rin is 14, bro. Their highest level is 12. They, they get stomped in pit. He already killed out the Blastoise. Oh, he stole the Excelgor. Sure no, no, no. Venusaur got it. Venusaur got it. Venusaur got it. Venusaur got it. Perfectly getting vision on Rayquaza, but here we go. It's all of time to shine, trying to fight their way through. This is over, man. Is really gonna have to happen, and they're actually going to be oh, there's a Dodrio ult. They're cooking. Oh, no, it's it's done. It's done. GG's, 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 GG's. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. This is a differential. This is a hard differential. It's over. It's over. This is a hard diff. They dominated. They destroyed them. Tally Bobo is. I, I Tally Bobo's got to turn up. Is Tally Bobo gonna beat them? I don't know. They stomped. Time to shine. Yeah, the Trevenant is playing so good here. He's playing for time, right? So if they're all stuck on here fighting for the Trevenant, it's, it's going to diminish them from actually trying to go get some stacks off here. That's what the enemy team is doing here as well, too, as you can see. It's huge. He got 100 in there, which is massive. And kills, too. No, Trevenant was huge MVP there. You have to see it. Trevenant was a huge MVP there. Huge. Their Inteleon is cooking. Kyrios. Dude, Kyrios' kiting is insane. Kyrios. Dude, the ult, man. Dude, Kyrios is cooking. Nah, the kid's crazy. The kid's crazy, bro. The kid's crazy. Dude, Kyrios, uh, the respect to the whole team, man. The Trevenant played perfectly there. He stalls play time, diminishes time. So smart. Look how gassed up they are, bruh. The goats. That's hard. 
very well. Same thing with SA yeah. UL Esports. I gotta uh, talk about them too. I was just gonna say that's hard. SA UL Esports putting on an that's hard. Show, pushing luminosity and time that's hard, man. To the edge of their seat in some final moments, really we do definitely incredible. stand the queen. We have to love the representation. We stand the queen. Of their group. Yet again, the champions pushing on. <laughs> Shelvin there, unfortunately, having to play against uh, this squad twice, two worlds in a row now. So Literally, man. They needed this. To time to shine, you needed this W. They fought them last year, too. Oh, yeah. That is just how it goes. But hey, you know what? Maybe third time's the charm. But regardless, great stuff to these teams. LG, you know, we got to. Dude, look at the chart, man. They dunked every step of the way. Look at this graph. That is a show of comfort if I've ever seen one, especially considering how close the game They literally dominated them. The, sec the, the, the first game they were already winning, but the second game was just straight domination. You have that big of a lead, a lot of teams are just going to shore up, they're going to play defense, they're going to play it safe. However, The second game is just hard domination, man. To the enemy in the enemy central area, and there we go, the damage number is looking clean. Rin in top of the lobby here with 128,000, and of course, Overlord, again, at six digits. At Look, dude, 120k damage on the carries. Look at Kyrios, man. Even the 47k on the tree is really good there. Thank you. Put respect on my man's name. Like, Kyrios' kiting is insane. Like, Rin, Rin and Overlord are just in their face aggro, but the Kyrios damage from afar is so clutch, dude. He's MVP, man. Look at this. Look at his kiting as they're going in. He's so clutch, man. Like, he really helps them open the door, man. He's got to get more love. He really helps them get these kills, man. Like, he really does. Like, look at him still there. He's just so, he's just so good. He's such a good player, man. That's, he, like, just shines so much. <laughs> just because you're correct doesn't mean you're right. <laughs> Floatstone. I might try that build. I don't like Floatstone. That's why I don't play Floatstone. I play AOSPP over it. I play the same build, but AOSPP. It was huge. Try attack and mean look there is it's it's huge. We do have an interview on stage with LG's own Rin. Take it away. Oh, Rin gonna be. That's right. I am on. Look at my dude. Look at my dude. He gassed up. Look at my dude. He gassed up. It looks like against. He is so hyped off that W, man. He don't even know how to move. That felt like vintage luminosity. What do you think changed? So I think in that first game, we just kind of drafted something we hadn't really played before, thinking that would be good into the enemy, but we weren't really prepared to do it. So what we did it was we just pivoted to things we practiced in, in scrims, and it ended up working out really well for us. I felt like the rest of those games were really solid. I have to wonder, there's always a lot of time. He gassed up, man. And how crazy he is and his crazy <laughs> damage numbers. But wouldn't you say that's just because of ELO and maybe you carry a little bit harder? <laughs> Elo's 1v9, what can I say? Support's getting no luck. It's messed up. Yo! It's messed up. Here, and as you look 1v9 is crazy. World champions again, 1v9 is crazy. Your biggest hurdle is going they are gassed up, bro. Honestly, whoever makes it out of Group B is going to be an absolute challenge for us. There's three amazing teams in that group. and Yeah, Group B looked crazy, man. Easily, so we have to be group B about. was stacked. All right, you heard it here first from Rin, who insisted we do this interview this I way. I did not want this at all. I he gassed up. I, I would be the same way. Y'all have no idea. If I just stomped out a team like that at Worlds, are you kidding me? I would move crazy. I, you guys have no idea how I would move. I would move like crazy, bro. You kidding me, man? I wouldn't even know how to move. I get it. I would start acting different, bro. I really would. Bro, they'd have to be cutting me out. I'm like, we beat these bleep, 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 ass bleep. <laughs> Wait, did you see the Blaziken trial emblem in this? I, The Blaziken trial license? How come we ain't got that? 
They were like, Numb Nexus, what do you have to say? Yeah, man, we just stomped out those bleep, bleep, bleep. Can you say that? Yes, bleep. Like, it would be crazy, bro. <laughs> They're like, security. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Nah, man. That should be funny as fuck. <laughs> oh my god. No, next is Zorak, making it look like the mod never got nerve. That's just your thoughts? I'm pulling out the Mewtwo bleep ass Y. Bleep. Maybe like the Bundox episode. Oh my god, man. They have air lace in there. Air lace. Don't run air lace. I don't. This mod is so much fun. This mod is literally one of the most fun mods in the entire game. Probably smart they're showing this. Wait, this is crazy. This is clutch. So people at home can understand it, right? <clears throat> yep, the bar matters. That was this pre nerf, or it's pre buff. That's pre buff. If this is live patch, that nukes it from there. It nukes. I kind of air lace is like kind of fun. I hope they buff it again. Oh my god, but nah, I'm just chatting shit. I'd be at my best behavior because I want to. I, I want to return. So I'd be at my, yeah. It's tomorrow. I don't know what time. What time is tomorrow, guys? Does anyone know? It's probably in the Unite Twitter. Let me check. Razor Leaf plus Air Lace. Yeah, Leaf Blades to numb one. What about TTV? How are they doing? Where's the B stream? Is this the B stream? No, this is the same stream in uh, uh, Japanese. I hope TTV made it, man. <laughs> he said, my boy Korean, he got that K-pop. My shooter Korean, he, he let that K-pop. Bro, that's so hard, man. <laughs> My shooter Korean. He let that K-pop. Sorry, I'll be saying that the next few weeks. That's such a hard line, man. That's such a hard line, bro. <laughs> okay, we're not doing the dots again. What do you mean, nice one? Uh, I'm glad. Yo, Dr. Kong, my boy, how you been, man? It has been a minute. Hope you've been well, brother. Yeah, he wasn't even Korean. He was wildin' for that post. He wasn't even Korean. He was Vietnamese. He was wildin' for that post. That was so funny. You have no idea how funny that was, man. That I literally laughed for 10 straight minutes. <laughs> I was like, that's so hard. That is so unbelievably hard, dude. Oh my God, bro. Let me find that TikTok. Let me show you all that, man. Did I like it? Oh, I found it. All right, y'all, dial in this. Dial into this. Look at this. Y'all got to see this, bro. This is this is fire, bro. Look at this. People what this man said, though. Hold on. This might be the hardest caption I've seen yet. I shoot a Korean, but he going to let that K-pop? <laughs> That's my fault. I wasn't familiar with your game. Hey, but look, there's one catch. Rice gum is in Korean. For real, that's like racist. He be thinking like every <laughs> He's just not Korean. Korean. No, but this caption is hard though. My shooter Korean, he go let the K-pop. Bro, that's that's hard. I'm sorry, that's hard. That is a hard ass line, bro. That's hard. That's hard, bro. He ain't even Korean. 
That's gotta be racist, bro. That has to be. Hello, everyone. Yo, when they bring Karaidon to Pokemon Unite, it's over. Yeah, I forgot Ryzen existed too. Yo, the goat zoinks, the goat doob snacks, cook it up, boys. Yeah, he straight up excused Razor. He's like, hold on, wait a minute, that shit hard, though. <laughs> Bro, they are fitted, man. They are fitted, bro. Kumu is a Philippine team, right? I think they're from the Philippines. Asian Pacific, Eastern Asian Pacific, Japan team, and LA. What is LA and North Atlanta? What, what is that? Yeah, man, it's the first Worlds at Japan. You think Worlds is going to be at Japan again? Hey, he's sleeping on him! Bro's name is Minato. Oh, he he had got to play some fast. He's sleeping on him! I'm not familiar with either one of these teams. I think I've seen Entity play before. Latin America. Duh. I love that so many different cultures have come from around the world. I love that, man. He the cleanest. Talk your boy up. Okay. She's the best mechanical player. The agile ones. He just like me. He just like me. And the food. TTV's <laughs> out. No. Golden. Shout out Latin America, man. Golden. They're repping the whole yo rap, man. Rap. I do the same thing. Rap, bro. Rap. Shout out the wifey too. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. That's hard. I love when they do the hard ass speeches. That's hard, man. Goat. Respectable ass. Goat. Oh, these are the phones. Amazing in their regional competitions. I cannot wait to see them against them. They make you take out your phones. That's crazy. And the badges. Oh, yeah, because if, if it gets in the way of the hands, yeah. Dude, the venue looks sick. Look at the little Fue Coco with the rice balls. Bro's name is Torfin. Yo, he's sleeping on him. He telling him, shush. Damn, they just said TTV's out, bro. You really hate to see it, man. Rip my boys, man. And the raucous upstarts in that group, um, a lot of them have a lot of esports based experience. Yeah, so entity seems like the older players so might not be too shy on stage for this, uh, for this match. That could be monumental, right? I mean, they're starting in a tough position already. We talked about it, we already saw that group. I love all the energies. They are coming into this game, oh, and one. However, He's sleeping on them, though. A lot of people have picked for top three caliber in this tournament. Entity 7 is the same case, though. Right. This really has become such a competitive group, and Kumu is going to have to prove that they belong.
belong in that top eight. Obviously, they proved they belong here on the world stage already. Their regional performances. Bro, Frieza is crazy. Frieza is two and zero at Worlds. What? Yeah, actually, going back in the history of Kumu here in this past UCS season two, uh, they were actually looking for teams to scrim early. Bro, UCS and uh, weren't given a Frieza lot of is crazy. He is two and zero at Worlds. All of a sudden, they spike one. Alright, Ali, good night, Queen. Actually, you know what? We'd like to play against you guys a little bit. We'd like to play against you guys. So, old guys showing the young guns how it's done. Exactly. Some respect to given. Now let's flip to the other side of the coin, though. Entity Seven from Latin America North mm -hmm. coming out as that number one seed. They had an amazing season, but it started a little late. And that AOS Cup was when things really turned around for this team, and then they started winning everything. And from that point on, Entity Seven wasn't dropping a tournament. They looked untouchable, and honestly, they have garnered a lot of respect from their region. A lot of these teams tout Entity Seven as one of the best teams here at Worlds. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, everything leading up to that AOS Cup was essentially the countdown to the rocket ship <laughs> blasting off, and then ever since then, it's been to the moon. Now they got to keep this thing going against Kumu. Again, mm -hmm. if they can uh, win. Uh, beat Kumu here. Kumu will be eliminated. However, that sets up our next match to be a uh, group winning match between Ayasumi Makaro and Entity. Bruh. Sakura. That's the way this one was to break down. Yeah, and if it goes I love, to I love competitive Pokemon, man. I just like watching Worlds, man. I just, I love it. I love it. I love it, dude. I love it. Team that they could not. So this, of course, is such a complex. Dude, I gotta have it like them. I gotta have it like them, man. That's goals. Yeah, Wolf is Wolf is out here as well too. Wolfie's out here as well too. Dude, Freeze Eye is going crazy, man. Dude, if Freeze Eye, dude, if Freeze Eye makes top eight, this kid will never play Smogun again. Day so far, like uh -huh. just not a lot of respect being put on their name, and they got to step up and show out. And now we have another opportunity here with Kumu in the face of these two giants, as we know, as, as we know, as Entity Seven and Oyasumi Makara. Tell me a little bit about it. Just hype, man. Like, just Pokemon, are we gonna see this player play? to defeat the old guy. I'm on my hands and knees begging for Zorark, okay? <laughs> I really am. Their Zorark is in another world. Yeah, I love watching good Zorark gameplay. However, I love it. It's compared to Overlord from Luminosity Gaming quite a bit. In terms of playstyle, they're a very resource-hungry player. They'll take a lot of their supports. Yeah, Freeze I didn't even really care about the speed tournament. He was grinding, dude. Those Pokemon that they play are high impact. He had to focus up on the VGC. Zorark, Dodrio, even if they want to I love speedsters, man. I love speedsters. Zero or my T flame. I think T flame is probably my worst speedster. But I don't play a lot of T flame, is why. Minato's support play is another thing that we really should be looking forward to. I'm excited to see it in game. I mean, again, the world's is so. Created the fusion dance. Bro, it's hard, man. It's hard. Let him. Hey, let him. This good in our regional competition, and now let's see how you look on the world stage. Sometimes it can be night and day, but sometimes we all just don't Dude, Chris Yours is so funny. This guy said TTV is out of world champs. The West is in the mud. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Are getting it done, but it's time to ban some Pokemon and get this thing underway. All right, our game is going to be getting started here shortly. Ban phase up first, of course, and currently Entity Seven hovering over a few different bans. It seems like Koopa is going to be that first one. This is a Pokemon I predicted would be on that ban, uh, that ban table quite a bit. Pokemon that would really change how you play the game, and it's really hard to counter score quite a bit against the support Pokemon. <clears throat> Probably my best beaster, Zork, <laughs> Zork Leafeon, Zork Leafeon, Zara Dodrio. Oh, I didn't even say Gengar. <laughs> my Gengar's washed. I haven't played Gengar in a year. Yeah, Hoopa makes Hoopa is literally the best support in the game. That makes sense, dude. Hoopa is the best support in the game. It's a good one. It's a good one. Lapras is so good too, because it's so hard to, and obnoxious to fight against. Like some Pokemon just can't do much against a Lapras. Oh, I never mind. I've seen Kumu. I've seen Kumu. I didn't know their attack was OG. I didn't know their attack was OG. I've seen games of them. I've seen games of them. Especially in pro play. Pro play, who puts like a top two mon in pro play? So I get it. I get it. I get it. Yo, dude, Dodrio and Inteleon. Lapras is one of the tankiest mods in the game and does a lot of damage. The highest damage dealer out of any other tank in the game as well, too. 
And really, the highlight to me in this is it insane seeing comps like this? And you're like, Mewtwo stops comps like this, but Mewtwo's not allowed. I'm like, that's how insane Mewtwo is. Like, you look at OG's comp here, and Mewtwo just rolls, but it's like, I hope they, they're Mewtwo soon. We'll see. They got Blastoise and Clef, huge. EXP share both on Blastoise and Clef. Okay, gonna be like Surf Hydro Pump for sure. The enemy team is also running two EXP shares as well, too. Okay. They have three EXP shares. Dodger's, he's got Scorch as well, too. Scorch Shield, Focus Band to stay alive. Phil to deny CC. Phil's gonna be huge. Phil's gonna be huge. Oh, yeah, she changed the build. Floatstone and uh, Razor. Okay. How the teams are doing? Yeah, there is. I think they're tweeting it on their Twitter account. Uh, question, Peach. I'd have been close, Peach. You the one trauma? Yeah. Buddy Leafeon? Yeah, makes sense. You all will Leafeon, you usually die. Yo, the shades! Turn up, man. Turn up. You mad close right now. Turn up. Yeah, he has to wipe his hands and nerves. Scary. Damn, they think these the team is top three. Which team? Entity? Are they talking about Entity here? Oh, the EXP share last. That's so smart, dude. That's so smart, man. I went to the sweaty hands even when I feel totally calm. Oh, wow, dude. It might just be the, your skin. You might just have naturally oily skin, bro. That's so smart, man. That is just so smart. The EXP share sharing there with a jungler? That's just... it's. Legitimately so smart. Legitimately, it's just so smart, man. Yo, positive Patrick, what's good, bro? He's drill pack. Yeah, that is. He couldn't get the. He could. Yeah, he couldn't get. That's smart. He moves the uh, scavenger to the left so that, uh, the other guys can get it. Smart. <laughs> oh, look at that damage. Clef is literally one HP. Oh, their Clef is, is really fighting. It, Clef's having a tough game. Hasn't evolved yet. Clef's having a tough game, dude. Level three. Yeah, it's probably good that we ban that guy. I saw his name and it's already getting dicey. Dodrio, no, Dodrio can play jungle or lane. Oh, uh, he bunned out. That was smart. Smart. Leafeon is gaming. So smart. Clef's catching up, though. Level 5. Clef's catching up. It was a rough start for the Clef. Dude, look at it. Keeping the war turtle back? Dude. Dude. I'm, I gotta play Solar Blade. I'm not playing Solar Blade. His beat is. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, they're nerfing Solar Blade. 
They're nerfing Solar Blade. They're nerfing Solar Blade. Dude, that was gaming. That was gaming, dude. That's just gaming. Solar Blade is insane. He has ult again. Dude. The Venusaur ult. Solar Blade, yeah, cleaned up the ones that were low. Grass type supremacy. A team of three grass types. Yeah, the Clef can't stop him. The Alecky's on base. Yeah, they may as well forfeit it. Just get the EXP. Yeah, that was so good. They're so coordinated there. No, I don't think they nerfed Solar Beam on Venusaur. No, but Solar Blade, yeah. Solar Blade is insane. Yeah, the Cliff is catching up now. Their entire team is catching up. The Leafion is just crazy fed. So is Venusaur, but they're catching up, though. They're catching up. Blaster is nine, so he has Unite here. They're catching up. <coughs> yeah, Kumu's going crazy, man. Kumu is going nuts. No, the Leafion is shutting down the Dojo every time, man. Oh, Blastoise! The Leafion has got an amazing movement, dude. Amazing movement for this Leafion. He ejects out of everything perfectly, dude. Dude, the Leafion's positioning and his movement is and his just awareness is insane. This guy has buttoned out of three alts. This guy is playing perfect. Like he's literally like full HP when they throw he's just perfect. This guy's playing crazy, dude. He's legitimately playing crazy. Like he's just I'm just I'm I'm so impressed here. And now they have themselves that extra defense buff. And a double level 12 on their team. Yeah, double level 12 halfway in is crazy. Yeah, I hope they don't nerf Solar Beam. Solar Beam is fine. It's balanced. It's a skill shot for sure. It's balanced. It's it's definitely the Leafeon here. I mean, the Solar Beam is just really good for the chip damage, but the Leafeon is definitely the one that's going crazy here. But the Solar Beam chip is definitely helping for sure, you know? Wait, Amp, and Buddy. Yeah, I, I don't play Buddy. I play Wait, Wait, Razor, and uh, uh, Amp. I might start playing Buddy. Just because, like, Leafeon is so frail, so when you go in an ult, you, I feel like I die a lot. Oh! They actually don't get it, though, NT. And they kill the Dodrio, NT. It's not going to go in it, <coughs> but it's good because they didn't get it, right? He almost lasted it, though. He almost lasted it. Yeah, they have a minute left. It's good to slow and push the Umbreon there. You never know who's going to show up. They have a minute left. Better to farm up. Is he running acrobatics? Yeah, he is. Oh, the Leafeon, he, he got out of there. That would have been scary if he died to that Blastoise there. That would have been scary. 30 seconds for Ray. That would have been scary. Especially as we do see Kumu move down to try and take this basement. Reggie, they've got plenty of time, but there's a chance that they can collapse on from Entity 7 from above. Yes, this is a really risky move here. Obviously, getting. This is so big for Kumu, dude. They got to Reg Ice right before Ray. Slowbro keeps them in the pit. Good tanking. That's crazy, man. And tell them with the preemptive ult. They're just shredding. They're just shredding. So smart. Nah, the Slowbro MVP! 
of the bunch. Four down without five down. Wait. The entire team. Uh, there wasn't Ooh. even a fight. That was just an entire team wipe in a split second. What? A Wait, stream? Hello? Dude, even though the Blastoise got the Ray, it doesn't matter. They team wiped all of them. Dude, the slow bro has got to be an MVP there. The the, the, the Inteleon preemptively ults to shred the Ray because Inteleon can shred Ray fast with ult. But the slow bro ults the Inteleon and the Leafeon comes in, Leaf Blade, Solar Bleam, nukes, then throws ult. It was just beautiful gameplay. So synergized there. No, no copyright. We're good. Oh, the Venus was coming up, though. Venus was coming up. Venus was coming up. Oh, the Blast was just gaming. Oh, no. Oh, the Elder God stopped them. Oh, until they got ult here. Wait, they're going to win this. Until they got ult. Wait, they're coming back. Yeah, they wait. They're coming back. He ults to get there faster. Oh, my God. Wait, they won. What? 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, the Inteleon and Blastoise carried that! Dude! That was, a, that was an amazing game on both parts. That was an amazing game on both parts. In oh, they're depressed. Dude, that was an insane comeback! The Dodrio ults to get to the second one. Nah, man, it was so good. Dude, the Blastoise and Inteleon were MVPs there, bro. Especially that Inteleon. He farmed ult again and just kept them at bay. The Blastoise stopped. He couldn't dunk it off, so he stops and pushes the Elder Gods and the, uh, it was someone else up there. He pushes both of them back. That was so smart. That was so smart. Blastoise and Inteleon, especially the Blastoise, massive MVP there, dude. Massive MVP there. Dude, they definitely played... Okay, Kumu diffed the hell out of them in pit. The Slowbro was the biggest MVP in pit. Look at the Slowbro, watch. Watch the Slowbro. See, Inteleon preemptively ults to shred the raid. They're going right to the raid. Blastoise tries to keep him back. Look at him. Buttons in and ults the Inteleon. Massive. Dodria ult. Literally. Look at that. They throw LD ult, Leaf Blade, Solar Blade, ult. They literally nuked everybody. Blastoise takes it. I think Blastoise taking Rayquaza was massive, though. If they took Rayquaza, they guaranteed one. Blastoise sniping them off Rayquaza literally changed the entire game. It was the biggest reason why they could come back. Because if Kumu got the raid, they could have insta dunked. Look at them. They all almost have 50. So they could have insta dunked this. And they played the post so good, dude. They played the post so good, dude. Yeah, they just couldn't dunk after that. The steal was actually a saving grace. Both teams played phenomenal. I got to give it to both teams. That was real gaming. Both teams played phenomenal. 119 game. Leafeon, oh my god, their Dodrio got destroyed. But the Inteleon, man, the Inteleon really came through. The Blastoise came through, man. Yeah, no Ray Shield is crazy. Their Dodrio got destroyed. No, that was championship gaming. That actually was. That was championship gaming, guys. No, that is so earned. Look at this, man. I need them to pan back to that. That was so good, dude. This just got me really wanting to play Unite now, but I'm not going to get games like this. I'm going to get trolls because I'd be unranked. 
Yeah, that ult into Solar Blade, into Leaf Blade Solar Blade was insane. I'm sorry, Solar Beam Venusaur ult. But these Solar Blade Razor Leaf combinations have been really powerful. Razor Leaf does give you that slight bit of mobility. So we even saw Lance kind of dodging moves from opponents. But then, of course, these big Solar Blade. Holy shit, dude. And here you go, that damage on the blast. I will, because people, I'm, certain, I'm assuming people also feel like me in watching these games, they want to go on ranked and play these Pokemon that pros are playing. Right? More Blastoise, more Inteleon, more Lapras. Every time there's world, there's always an influx of Mew players, because Mew's so good in worlds. But like, or just pro, every time there's a pro tournament, there's always an influx of Mew, I swear to God. Yeah, they're hype, man. They're, nah, I'd be hyped too. Now they hype. This guy clutched, bro. Hitman clutched, dude. He was playing so good. He was playing so good, dude. And they, of course, are running that liquidation build, which so far has seemed to be a bit more successful on stage. Yeah, it really has. Uh, it's really seemed to be only uh, the Western teams that have favored yep. the, the snipe shot. Uh, but liquidation That's true. That is true. It's weird. I, I think liquidation, I mean, it really just comes down to what you can play. Because if you're really good on snipe shot, it's going to look really good. Right? So it doesn't necessarily matter too much. But I just prefer liquidation, right? Let us all even play Unite, dude. Five sacks and Unite ranked are hard, though, because like, you're going to go up against other five sacks. Where, and if they're more coordinated, you literally lose. Or if they're better. Who are they going to ban here? Let's see. Oh, they're... They're going to they're gonna be the ones to actually ban Leafeon. No, yeah, Lance was insane on Leafeon. That may have been the best Leafeon performance I've seen at Worlds 2023. Both, te both teams banned it. Both teams banned Leafeon. Yeah, Leafeon is a top tier jungler right now in pro play. Top tier. I think even in ranked, but Mewtwo's out, right? So it's going to not... Mewtwo overshadows a lot of Pokemon right now. Yeah, no Lapras ban. Both teams are going to pick Lapras. Both teams pick Lapras here. Both teams. No Hoopa ban. So we could get Hoopa as well here too. Yeah, and as you mentioned, Inteleon locked in. They got a good Constellation defender here in the Umbreon. Yeah, Leafeon is a menace. And, uh, oh, please don't do this I don't think I saw a single team play Leaf, uh, Razor Leaf. Soul Blade is just, and the nuking of Soul Blade is so good. There's the Hoopa. Yeah. I, Hoopa's definitely going to see some play here for sure because they didn't ban it. Yeah, Kumu's team looks nuts so far here. Is Reggie going to pull out the Zork? Let's go! This is going to be a good game. All right, Craig. Good night, bro. Yo, Azu? Yo, Azu. No way. Let's go. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of pros play Floatstone, but the, I mean, their positioning is just so good. Floatstone's going to be really good for them. Dodrio as well, too. Okay. This is a pocket pick of Lance. They do like this Pokemon quite a bit and are an individual master on it. They were running that attack weight, scope lens, muscle band. So just a reminder for everyone how that huge power passive works. They're hitting just one enemy every his yep, yep, hit. Yep, so yep, yep. Not really yep. With the percentage chance of critical hit, but just increasing that critical hit. Yep, for the 1v1s. Well, and looking at the enemy team comp, 1v1s against like Eldegoss and Teleon and Zork is going to be huge. It's 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 gonna be huge, dude. It's like 1:30 at night. I'm so hype off these games. I love professional Pokemon, dude. I love watching it, man. Kumu needs this, bro. They're pull dude. Azumarill looks fantastic against their comp. Outside of like Inteleon, I think Azumarill looks. Oh man, I got the candy though. <laughs> Eli, yo, I got the candy though. Dude, I love seeing kids that still like Pokemon, man. Like, you see the mod you think kids like, and they definitely like them, like Mew and stuff. I love it. It's adorable. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Yeah, Azumarill is meant for 1v1s. So I already love the Azumarill because that's my boy. Oh, the dude is going to jungle this time. Okay. Might have a better time on jungle here. The EXP share sharing, it's it just it's so smart. Because then Hoopa can hit level 4 immediately. Hoopa at level 4 is literally one of the most busted mods ever. So smart, dude. This is pro play. You would never see this in ranked. Well, it is weird that Scarlet Violet's going to be a year old soon. Yeah, that is weird. It doesn't feel like it, right? It feels like Scarlet Violet came out like four months ago. Is that just me? That Zorak skin goes so hard. Oh, the A9. Yeah, the Zorak A9 matchup is annoying. After cooldown, do Shredder. It's definitely annoying. Like, you can shred A9, but she could also make it very hard for you to get in there, you know? Yeah, wait for cooldowns. Smart. Yep, she used Avalanche. Yeah, he just can go fight mid here soon or go back into his jungle. He's going after the enemy jungler. Oh, so smart. So smart. He gets a bunch of EXP off killing the enemy jungler. So smart. Honestly, so smart. I, just, I, I don't know. I, I love Zork. He's a high skill tier Mon as well, too. I generally love the Mon. Orang and won both their games. I'm excited to watch them as well, too. 783 to 86? What? They dog walked him. They literally dog walked him. They were dominating the entire game and got Ray. What? Dude, Orangutan is looking nasty. I think I put them in top five. I put them in my, the top five teams I wanted to watch, but on the Unite voting, I didn't. I don't. I think I may have voted for them. I think. Guys, is tomorrow finals for Unite? Or is it only day two? It's not finals, right? I think it's only day two. Finals is Saturday, I think, right? Huge overdunk. This is even game so far. 80 to 83, even game so far. But the Zorak is level 9. The old Zumra is only level 6, so. It'll be a little tough. Oh, if he kills the Zorak, he's caught up. Smart that he gets out. Is that XP Zorak? That's smart that he gets out. If Azumarill kills a Zorak there, he is caught up, bro. Yeah, it's, I would do the same thing. It's good to stand there and help the team get the Aleki instead of backing to get your health back. Zorak has solid life too as well, too. And it's an Eldegoss there. Hoenn is our number one. That's real, bro. Oh, Parish Song just shredding, man. Yeah, that buzz all looking cooked. They froze him. He couldn't get to the portal. They froze him. Or no, I'm sorry. No, he. it's enemy portal. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, he's taking damage. He's frozen and taking damage from the portal. Sorry, misbuild. Oh, my God. That'd be huge if he actually got the Inteleon pick there. Yeah, he has EXP share, so if he didn't have EXP share, he probably kills him. It really is. Azumarill's movement is really good. It's funny because its base speed is terribly slow. But I like that though. 
I like that. I like when Unite does stuff like that. Like how Venusaur is very frail, but in the actual games, he's solidly tanky. Like he's not the world's most bulkiest, right? Oh, the Italian's dead. He ulted for that. That was a crazy ult for the Italian. Oh my god, the Lapras is churning! The Zorak died, but he killed the enemy jungler, so he should be fine. Yeah, they're probably gonna get the rock. Oh, the entire enemy team's going top. They probably got the rock here. It's pretty nice. I mean, you're gonna do a lot of damage on this Azmarill. It's gonna be some great experience as well. And we're gonna Yeah, they got it. Hooba doesn't even need an alt here. He probably just saves it for pit, no? Yeah, I think they just ult Eldegoss ult there just to keep the team alive. That was big, actually. Right, no one knows where Reggie Drago's at. Maybe, who knows? I don't know. Reggie Drago's just not as popular. Like, Reggie Lucky was very popular in Pokemon scene. Competitively speaking, at least, very popular. So it made sense when they reworked the map to put it on there. Oh! Oh! This is why Lapras is so good, dude. You see how much Lapras kills Squishy so easy. Lapras does so much damage, dude. Oh, the Hoopa actually ulted there. Okay. Just to get team back. Okay. I mean, he's got time. He's got a minute left to get it back. from both sides until we hit this final two minute mark look we still have a minute left until that final stretch it's just this preparation it's all about that rayquaza right but we do have i'm so excited to see this i i i'm literally you guys have no idea the dodrio is fed though he's 13 the nine tails is 13 there's not a single 13 on entity right now and just as a reminder, if Entity 7 wins this game, they are going to go up 1-0 in their group as well. And it will be a match between them and Oyasumi Mac. The Zorak is farming up, though. He's trying to get these Indeedies, I think. Yeah, he's 13 now. Yep. Would be our next match. They're so going for the Seleki. I'm so excited to watch this pit fight. Is Dukong? Yo, Lilith. I just want to say, Lilith, we have a beautiful night. You are so smart. I agree. Right. Dude, look at the editing. Her red just appeared. That's so clean. This game is so much fun watching high level gameplay. It's so much fun. Yeah, no objectives were taken there. The Umbreon just preemptively starting it. He's trying to force them to come out. Hoopa has ult again. Azumarill is looking for 1v1s. Smart. Trying to snipe out someone right here. Entity needs it. They're behind right now. Entity needs it. There's Hoopa with the ult. A9 with the ult. Oh, Azumarill's going for snipes. Dead. Azumarill, Azumarill's clutching. Zorak, yeah, Zorak. Could, does he get him? Oh, he backs successfully. Smart, smart, smart. Dude, Kumu just destroyed them there. They have to reset. They have a minute left. They got to reset. They use a ton of alts there. They have to reset. They have no alts. I don't think there's a way for us to tell if they have alts too unless we spectate them. He's trying to get it here. Yeah, they're trying to get their ults here. Yeah, they have time. 30 seconds, they got time. It's now or never. Umbreon starting it again, trying to force them to come out. They're just ripping Ray. Yep, they're trying to get them to come out here. Zora got ult! Oh, he got the, the hoop low. He got the hoop low. Who gets it? Oh, Kumu! 
Oh, it's Jover. Kumu needed that. It is, dude, the A9 with the 5K. 4K, sorry, the A9, dude. A9 is crazy, man. A9 is crazy, bro. Kumu! Dude, what a clutch, man. That was a huge Azumarill, man. Tough, man. The Azumarill works so good. They're going to run Azumarill again. Yeah, Kumu just dominated that. They did the Leafy on Ban. That's why I like Bans. I really hope they bring Bans into the ranked ladder. Because they banned Leafy on there and just excelled, man. Kumu, man. Great engagement on the refight ceiling. Kumu. And really, Kumu finally delivering on that performance that they had on the first game. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. What a game there from Kumu to bounce back in. I think a really good so good. Game number two. Game number one was a lot of early fighting from both teams. Really trying to. It was even for the first uh, third of the game. Very slow. And in the last two thirds, Kumu just dominated. Look at it, man. All even numbers. Yo, their buzzwall got stomped. Zork went eight. Yeah, Zork went crazy there. Their their buzzwall got stomped, Brent. That does the, the nine tails. It's hard. It's hard, man. Nine tails into buzzwall. Buzzwall is so hard into nine tails. It's hard, man. Buzzwall into Lapras is hard too. It's hard, man. It's hard. Yeah, man, this was this was crazy. Their Zorok was definitely getting some really clean assassins, man. Yeah, they just played well. I mean, it's, it's the thing; it's just hard. It's just hard to play Buzzle on to into their comp, right? Like it, it just is. Uh, it, it, it's it's hard, man. Look how the Zorik moves, man. And then the alt. Oh, I'm glad. Yo, Castle Man, thank you, member. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, my man. We're definitely gonna be watching Worlds tomorrow as well, too. Again, guys, it just it's so much fun, man. Well, they are KOing your entire team, and that is disrespectful. Yeah, Aqua Tail in a situation where everybody's all in one spot there looks so good, dude. Like, I it felt disrespectful to me personally because of what I was saying about Azumarill before we jumped into that game. Uh, but you know what? Azu the goat, Azu the goat, man. The goat, I love Azu. I'm totally biased. Hey, all I'm gonna say though, guys, I've been in the Azu metagame well before this mod was even cool. Y'all know it. I've been on the Azu metagame since Pokemon Platinum. Specifically Pokemon Emerald, where I used one in my playthrough when I was a kid. But hey, I'm real. I did not use a Zoomerill in Gen 2. I'm real. That's a lie I did, but I wasn't rocking with it like that, you know? Yes, it had huge damage numbers, but again, that macro gameplay is just so tough to fight against. It really is, and... If they solve that problem, they generate a new one, right? Yeah. They were able to eke their way past that uh, finish line in game one and get themselves... A yeah, man, that was a good game. Of not getting swept? Nah, literally. Who do they ban now? They Surely they ban Lapras. I think Hoopa Lapras ban here, for sure. Yeah, Hoopa. Hoopa was clutch there. Yeah, it they have to be Lapras. You have to risk Lance. I mean, they already didn't ban Leafeon, so Lance is definitely going to pull out the Leafeon. But they can't risk Lapras here. Yeah, they got to let the Lapras go. It is, it is. Like, banning Leafeon there is a risk. It is. 
it really sets us up for success either way. Wow. Both teams Kuma about to play. Yeah, yeah, they had a leap on. So much they didn't ban it, but that's because they were going to take it first, which opens up, like you said, double defender. Great opportunities. They had a leap on. We're about to see leap on gaming, guys. This year, uh, their regional roster is a little bit different than the roster they're bringing to that world championship stage. Sherlock, their normal top half player, not able to make it. Sure, but that is going to give them a bit more flexibility now. That teams might not know as much about current Entity 7 structure. Umbreon Alola, nine tails locked in, and that is a powerful bottom pass. Yeah, that is, man. Dude, that sounds like hell to go up against. How do you even kill that? A9 has stood tall and looked solid and has never been really a call to question as to why it's being picked so high. And honestly, just throughout the day today, we've seen... Nah, I'm telling you, A9 is actually an absurd mon. It has been performing insane in everybody's games, dude. choice from Entity 7 here. Hitman obviously just thinking that they have a decent answer towards this bottom path, which again, I said is so powerful. Maybe one of the best you have available in game right There's now. There's the Zork. Grabbed by Kumu. I don't believe we've seen this team play this Pokemon no. quite yet. So, I mean, very interesting. Gengar? Nah, nah, nah. No. You know, no. Gengar? As good as Reggie on Entity 7 can be a bit of a... We're going to see a Zoomer again, right? However, Reggie gets their other pocket pick. It's going to be Trevenant. It's going to be the Dodrio. And that's hey, Reggie's going to pull out the Dodrio. Okay. The face of a pre so okay. Easy swap into gravity. It, they have an extraordinarily game. offensive comp here. Like, even Eldegoss and Tree do good damage. They have an extraordinarily so offensive and, uh, comp. Uh, Lance about to pull out the Azu. Oh, Blastoise. Double Defender? Oh, he's probably Rapid Spin. He has, uh, uh, Specs. He's playing Rapid Spin here. And he has Button. He's playing Rapid Spin here. Yeah, they already have two EXP Shear users. The Blastoise can go Offensive Tank here. Yeah, into a Blastoise. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first from the Giga Brains on the analyst desk. If you want to win at Pokemon Unite, your team of Pokemon need to have some unity. Crazy, it's true. Crazy it's true. Yeah, Umbreon is just so good, man. I don't think that's changing anytime soon. He, he takes away shields. His ult is nuts. His auto healing is nuts. Every move that he has in his arsenal is nuts. That man's not going anywhere. I'm on his top 10 for life. Hi. Yo, shout out to Slowpoke Love. See, y'all keep saying people don't like Gen 1 like that. We're seeing Mew, Slowpoke, Eevee. Come on, man. Like, even the young people, they still like. They still love Gen 1, man. That's not going anywhere. Gen 1 just has a great dex. It's not going anywhere. Who's y'all? Okay, sorry. Everybody but Carter. Sorry. I'm sorry, Carter. Is that better? Everybody but Carter. Sorry, guys. Sorry. This will be a sick game three. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. We can see that the Dojo are making sure to get those Zartus. Gossy Flirt. Yep, EXP sharing. No EXP sharing from Zoro, though. He's going to just straight go for it. That's true. Zoro took it anyway. What's, what's the point, right? He took the red buff. What's the point? So yeah, just just going solo. I like that. I mean, also though, giving the buffs to the Zoroark in the previous game did seem to work. So it looks like we're gonna see the option potentially coming out. True. From the side of True. Umu this time, saying, "Hey, work for you." It's people don't like Gen One. I think it's just internet. The internet will always say they're tired of Gen One, but it's like it doesn't matter. People love Gen One. Gen One is safe. It's clean. It's simple, and it's got a great dex. People love Gen One. Now this is why you want to give the red buff. Bunch of iconic Pokemon. Tough. We're total already. Tough, man. Huge. He's actually able to get out of there. Huge. Huge. Yeah, War Turtle this early is insane. People always try to make you not evolve on Squirtle. War Turtle this early is crazy. Minute and a half in. He might hit. He might hit Rapidson plus at this rate if he, everything goes well. Huge trapped into Espeon, but the Espeon gets out. And T honestly. Oh, he's dead. Look at Mean Look, man. Look at Mean Look, man. Perfect synergy. Mean Look is crazy. Look at Mean Look, man. 
chop down a tree when it's still just a tiny little baby tree, you know? And that's exactly yeah, they're right now doing what, what they do to Squirtle, the Phantom. They're making Phantom. Oh, even the Gosselflur is not evolved. And he's having a rough game, dude. Level three Goss, man. Yeah, the Zorak has a. Re oh, the Zorak is fed early. He's level eight. Oh. The Zorak can't die here. Cash, thank you for the five, bro. This is the first stream I've seen in a minute. I'm right, looking forward to the Scarlet DLC. Also, Team Kumu for the dub. Yeah, I'm also Team Kumu after that dub, bro. Thank you for the five, man. Yes, I'm very excited for the DLC. We'll be streaming that next month. I'm very excited, man. Thank you for the love, bro. Wait, this war total is going crazy. Dude, they still have Phantom. Rough game, man, for the grass sites. But Eldegoss is already caught up from three to six. Eldegoss is already caught up from three to six. Already caught up. Almost, almost. Trevenant's trying to catch up as well, too. From four to six, huge. I think if the... Oh, that's tough. Zorark. But they got, the, they got the Reggie, though. Huge. I thought Zorark got it. That was close. Dude, they're catching up. Their Jodrio's at nine. They're catching up at levels fast right now. They're catching up. The game's not over. The record does not display it. The game is not over. Wait, the Blastoise is just... He just walked in. Walked in. Yeah, he went in deep. Uh, if he mean looks at Espeon... Yeah, Espeon's done. Zorak getting three off the Blastoise ult and a mean look. Huge. Yeah, the Zorak is gaming. The Zorak needs to go. He's gaming. He's gaming hard, dude. And he's dead. Trust you got to put respect on his team. His team is definitely helping him open up these positions, but he's gaming. Yeah, Blastoise being level 10 is even more concerning. Straight DPS Blastoising. Oh, she got it, though. Oh, she ulted. Did she ult? I heard Clef ult. Maybe I'm hearing things. Or maybe she got... No, she did ult. She did ult. Dude, the Blastoise is gaming. Oh, the Blastoise is gaming. I think he's like max stack now or something like that. He is... Yeah, he rapid him, keep him, keep him back. This is the Blastoise I played. I always played the, this build. When last year he was literally the best defender. <laughs> yep, Blastoise just got it all the way down to half. Then the team cleans up. NT on the tree, man. Honestly, great try, dude. <gasps> Shadow! Shadow! Dude, they're really trying. Entity is really trying. It's just. No, their Zorak Blasters is going way too hard, dude. Wait. Blastoise is way too fed, man. The Blastoise is juiced. Kumu looking like he doesn't gotta, they gotta take this. Entity needs to like steal Ray or something. Kumu is gaming, bro. Yeah, they get this Reggie that's going to be huge. The Blaster is coming down. They have to shred this fast. <gasps> it's healing. No. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, Dojo got it. Huge. Oh, that that healing on the rock was so unfortunate. It just walked out too far, so it started healing. And they're jungle invading. The Blastoise already has plus rapid spin. A fed Blastoise is literally one of the most scariest mods in a game. Fed and stacked. 
saying right now. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. We do not want to give anything to Entity 7. We do not want to give that comeback experience left. They are looking so strong on Kumu right now. We have two level 13. Yeah, that looks tough, man. The A9 might hit 13 here soon as well, too. A9 is already a really obnoxious mod. That looks tough, man. They're running side shock SP on as well, too. So it's like side shock for do it to stun for Dodri, I assume. Oh, they're going for an early fight. They're going for an early fight. Oh, the Zork. Oh, if they killed the Zork, that would have been huge. Gravity to get out is smart. Yeah, if they would have killed that Zork, that would have been huge. Kumu's not giving up. Their Dodrio's 13. Their Leafian's almost 13. Kumu's not giving up, man. I'm sorry, Entity's not giving up. Yeah, their tanks are literally in front of them. It's hard to engage right now. Look at the three tanky mons. Look at the positioning of them right there in. Smart ass positioning, man. They can't kill anything. It's it's hard, dude. Oh, Zorg's trying to assassinate someone. The Blaster is pushing them back. Oh! Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's alive. No way. No way. The Dodrio's dead. He tried to ego it. No way. I can't believe Zorik lived. The Blastoise is going crazy, bro. No, they're just, they're they're, they're comp is too tanky. Their comp is incredibly tanky, man. I get why they ran Psy Shock. Maybe they should have gone Stored Power, man. Their comp is so tanky, man. It's only Zorik and Ninetales that are frail. Minute left. They can reset for a fight. I don't think Entity is done yet. It's not Jover yet. They just got a 46 backdoor. It is not Jover yet. Didn't really matter too much, but it's not Jover yet. They need to rip the ray. They need to rip the ray. Oh! The tree ult! Look at the Trevenant! Wait, the Trevenant is gaming. Oh, they got it! No way! No way! Oh, they just tore off the Trevenant's armor. They tore off the Trevenant's armor. No, they can't. They tore off the Trevenant's armor. Dude, the Trevenant was gaming. The Trevenant was legitimately gaming. He can't dunk, man. He can't get anything in. It's up to Eldegoss. 28. Not enough. The block from the Clef ult. They 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 tore off the trees. They tore off the trees. It's smart. Kumu played that so good. Post plant. Post plant. Post ray. They played so good, man. They just tore off the trees. The tree was gaming. He pushed all of them into their jungle. CC chained them. Throws ult on the ray. The Dodger is able to clean up and get the ray. Not enough for alive though. They killed too much in pit. And then the last remaining, they tore off his armor. They focused everything because it didn't matter if one person dunked. It didn't matter. They needed both to dunk to win there. Kumu played that so good, man. Kumu was... Kumu played so good. Honestly, NT to Entity, they played insane, dude. NT, dude, they were catching up the entire time. Caught up in levels, caught up in positioning. They were going for aggro fights to push them back, dude. Like, it was crazy, man. NT, man. NT, man. Genuine NT. Look at the Blastoise. 88 <laughs> What? 136k healing from Clef. 88k stories. Dude, GG's to Entity, man. They played phenomenal. GG on both teams. Not a single game was a landslide. Kumu was landslide the entire time in the last two, last like three minutes, I'd say. Crazy. Yeah, early game. That Zorak was just destroying them, dude. They couldn't do anything. Early game, the Zork was literally manhandling them. But them stealing, they stole the Regirock so many times. 
which is huge. It def like they had so many times they were bringing it back when they stole objectives. It was huge. It was huge. It was genuinely huge. My God, man. It was just such good gaming. Yeah, the Zork, he got out every time, and I'm thinking, how did he get out? He got out. He got out of Dodrio, he got out of Blastoise ult. He got out every time. Look at this. This is when he got out and killed the Ego and Dodrio there, which I think Dodrio had to Ego that. They killed the, the Zork there, and they, they probably, like, would have gotten two to get in, but the Clef played such good denial there. That was god level gaming on both parts. Lance was crazy. He's sleeping on him, bro. Lance went crazy, man. He wasn't even running energy amp. That's how crazy he is, bro. Yeah, Lance is player of this entire rotation of, of all three games. Lance just went insane. Dude, he hit War Total out like 30 seconds in. You know how hard that is to do and people always trying to shut down your denial? I gotta hear it. Nah, he gassed up. Lance, talk to him, bruh. First question, how did you get so good at Leafeon? I don't know, I just practice it every day. Practice talk that he's talking that smack. He said it's a skill diff. So tell him at home in your language. Let's get the representation. Yo, one more question for you. You need Oyasumi Makro to get beat by Entity 7 next to keep your hopes alive of making day two. Send some positive vibes over to Entity 7, please. Uh, it's okay, you can beat. Uh, PYI Steam. <laughs> so there you go. We're gonna take a pause for a pause. It just, it's just—it's okay. You guys can win. <laughs> Bro, that's fire. That's fire. Guys, this is why representation matters, man. Like it's—it's it's so fire. When you see your own peeps up there, man, it's so fire, bro. It's so fire, man. Oh, he's upset, man. And he had a dominating game one, man. But Kumu turned up the last two games. It was crazy. Oh, I can't watch this. It's entity. This is match schedule. I don't think they're gonna, are they going to stream these guys. It's almost two in the morning. I can't watch this. I'll watch it in my free time. If any of you guys are in the discord, come join the discord. We might talk about it in there. We have a Pokemon competitive channel. So if you guys are in the Discord and watching any of the United games and you want to talk about it, we can talk about it in the Pokemon competitive section as well, too, you know? But I got to wrap up the stream, guys, because it's 2 in the morning, and we've been live for four and a half hours. So thank you for coming out, guys. I really appreciate it. Big love to you guys, as always. Uh, we'll be live tomorrow as well, too, man. So I'm excited about that. Um, thank you guys for coming out. I got to fix my sleep, bro, for real, for real, because I'm not even tired. And it's 2 in the morning. So thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all very much. Again, the VODs stay up now, so we'll keep them up. Uh, be easy, boys, and I'm going to